Okay, I think we're basically ready to go. Alright. Yeah, Act, I am pretty sure I will be winning. Unless we fight Prince Mush, then I will probably lose. So maybe we don't fight Pr Prince Mush. <laughs> Let me swap it over. Alright. So, last time on Thousand Year Door, we were in the middle of Chapter 6, and then we decided to, uh just finished chapter 6 altogether, we became Luigi in more ways than one. Afterwards, we got to the, we got the Crystal Star, and then, uh, I'm not, I'm not good at recaps, uh, we did all the troubles, and now we're about ready to at properly start chapter 7. Did some cleanup, got my, got my investment back, got some badges, and we're all ready to go. Everyone's powered up except for Flurry, because who cares about Flurry? Anyway, I'm bad at recaps, but yet I'm trying anyway. I don't know why. I don't know why I do things. Anyway, we gotta go meet up with Frank Lee. When did we switch to Paper Luigi? At the end of the last chapter. Well, actually, to be fair, Pennington kept calling us Luigi. So I think f somewhere in the middle of chapter 6, it became Paper Luigi. And then we found the right outfit, so... Ah, excellent timing. I finally have it, Mario. I found a way that might get you to the moon. You must you must go to Far Outposts, and you will use the cannon there, and it will blast you. Whoa, we're using a cannon to blast ourselves to the moon? Yeah, extreme! I know how it sounds, really. To be, uh, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure of all the details. Accounts from far outposts speak of a device that can launch anything, anywhere. Even to the moon. This is gonna be so cool! Just point the way. Where is this far outpost? I believe there is a pipe to far outpost somewhere beneath the rope port. But I'm not sure of the exact location, yes. I believe it was hidden for some reason. If my information is correct, you need something called an Ultra Hammer to get it. An Ultra Hammer? Hey! Right on, we already got one of those. Ah, well, I see. That certainly changes the subject now, doesn't it? Well, use that Ultra Hammer to find the pipe to Far Outpost. Then, get to it. Yeah, you got it, Professor. Far Outpost. Charge! Oh, yes, one more thing you should be aware of. The Bob-Oms who live there are sort of a shirt surly bunch. They may not let you use their cannon. You may have to negotiate with them. In any case, that's your problem. Good luck. Get that last crystal star. Well, anyway. Let's go find the place, find the route to far. Wait, did I read this? Don Pianta retires. Frankie to take the mantle. Get a fat envelope ready. Oh boy, are you glad you didn't read my journal? Ooh. The ghost in cabin four. He's able to leave his cabin? Hey, Sydney, how's it going? Uh, we are on our way to start chapter seven. We have the Ultra Hammer, and we are going to find Far Outposts. I am doing fine. I should be able to stream for a little longer today, though. And I messed that up. Back up the pipe we go. Granted, though, at some point I will have to step away because uh, I will be making lasagna tonight, and you know, gotta get that, gotta get that going early, you know. Lasagna takes like two hours to cook. There we go. We already did a bunch of cleanup, so. All that's left is to go to chapter 7. Gaming going good, gaming going good. Other than the loss of the fight with Prince Mush that I should still probably attempt soon. Chapter 7. Mario shoots for the moon. Uh, and how's your day going, Sydney? How's your day going, Act, as well? 
How's everyone's day is going? This, this is, this, it is stupid cold out here. Come on, Gonzalez, let's move. Far outpost should just, should be just up ahead, I think. That's good. That's good. I, I'm so glad that I have the sound effect that makes it sound like Bowser. It makes it so much funnier. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. Or Sydney. Not Sam. Ah, I'm sorry. Let's see. So, we're going to be fighting new enemies. I'm thinking whenever we fight... Uh... Oh, wait. Hold on. New remix. Interesting. I think so far my favorite remix has been... Well, one of my favorites has been the... The one in last chapter when we were at Riverside Station. Where it was like the old jazzy one. That's an ice puff. It's a mean snow cloud that appears in cold areas. HP 9, attack is 4, defense is 0. It swoops down and uses cold breath to attack. Trust me, it's not refreshing. That cold breath can freeze us, so try to avoid it. Also, if we touch it when it's strong, when storing cold energy, we'll get hurt. Isn't that super weak? And it gets worse! It'll absorb any ice attacks we throw at it. They're vulnerable to fire, so let's try that maybe. Well, let's see, what can I do? I, I guess I'll just get rid of one of them. That's the best I can do. Yeah, I got the super guard. As now. <laughs> right, yeah. Uh, well, you can talk to me on Discord anytime. I'm pretty antisocial, so I don't know. Like, sometimes you might have to just start the conversation. But yeah, go ahead. Talk to me anytime you wish. We could get rid of all of them if we go with Bob Blast. I was I was busy and I got distracted. I'm sorry. I had to I had to mow the yard yesterday and then I just kind of forgot. My apologies. I did glance over your stuff, so I did take a look. I still need to think of. Uh, I, I still need to think of uh, emote ideas eventually. Even if I have to make them myself. And I actually do not have an Instagram, so... Maybe I need to make one, but... I have a Twitter and I don't really use it, so... Ah, uh, yes. Get, taking more damage due to the explosions. Get out of here. Using up a lot of my FP already. Hmm. Pal blocks. That's not useful to me at all. Oh. More points. There we go. New Piranha Plant. So, it'll be my best interest to just to get rid of one of them. Oh, wait. I I'm sorry. I just realized the volume's on the TV. There's probably an echo going. I just realized that. My bad. That's a Frost Piranha. It's a cool customer with strong ice powers. Max HP 10, attack is 5, defense is 0. Its frozen breath attack can freeze us, so try to immobilize it first. It's weak against fire attacks too, so use them as well. That said, don't even think about using ice attacks. It'll absorb those. There aren't many ways to actually use ice attacks, I don't think, so... Man, I'm not doing well in Super Berry.
Yeah, so, uh... Oh, Act, I see you've turned back into Pig! I didn't realize the bell must have rung. Is someone at Creepy Steeple again? Was it Bowser? Who did it? Dupless, he went back to the Creepy Steeple? I thought he was with the S Shadow Sirens. He must have quickly went, went back. So is the curse just, it has to be Dupless ringing the bell, or is it just a curse that the bell does? So, I think? Honestly, if I want to get rid of it, I have to rally Link. Mario's just too strong. I'm gonna need to get recover my FP soon. <laughs> I know those who have played chapter 7 in the original GameCube version you know what's about to happen oh the horse the horrors that is chapter 7 But uh, yeah, it is Friday right now. Got any plans for the weekend? Or just gonna be chilling? At the moment, I can't think of anything I'm gonna be doing. Okay, so no matter what I do, someone's gonna stay alive. So I could rally wink and get rid of one of them. Or I can leave them both alive and save the FP. Yeah, and they're weak to fire, but it's already five it's only five damage. I could have used the FP and only got attacked once, but oh well, I saved the FP. There we go. I'm thinking maybe it will refight Prince Mush after Chapter 7. It sounds like the strategy is to not use Jump Man or Hammer Man. You know actually let you have options to hit him. And it honestly seems like my partners are not going to be that useful. Because they're not strong enough. However, if we if we equipped a power-up plus for the partners, then they can... then Bobbery can attack for one damage. If not Bobbery, then it has to be Miss Mouse to do damage. So this is Far Outpost. Where do you think they keep that cannon of theirs? Well, only one way to find out. Let's get started by talking to the villagers. Alright. Oh, I forgot to, like, tattle. Oh, well. This is far, this is part of Far Outpost. It's a village full of bombs. How do they survive out in the cold anyway? Don't their fuses fr uh, freeze off? you think these people would be bitter living here, but they all look just fine. Welcome to Far Outpost. Whoa! That's quite a good lip warmer you have got. Okay, now I give you my special mustache viewing personality analysis, yes? Ah, uh, hmm, yes, yes, hmm. Yes, yes, I've got it now. Your bushy broom means that you are stubborn and a selfish man. How did I know? I have certain experiences with mustaches like that, you see. That is Rob from Far Outpost. He can judge personality just by a person's facial hair. 
I've never heard of that sort of talent, personally. He may be lying his little fuse off. Hmm. This is Bomb Village. Bob da Bluey. There is nothing here. Da blah blah. Da blah mo. As you can guess from my comblamy reserved demeanor, many bombs are only open to uh, only open up to other bombs. Does that mean he'll open up to Bobber? That's Knob, a far outpost. He's a frank he's a frank and refreshing little guy, huh? You know, it's just struck me that only bombs live here, huh? I think that's Knob. Wait. Wait, hold on, let me repeat that last one. That's Knob. You know, it just struck me that only bombs with her. I think that's not. There we go. Okay, I see. Actually, does anything... Does he say anything different if I have Bobbery out here? Nothing else here. As you can guess, many bombs open up to other bombs. Your bomb companion will understand. Kakra Karako. So he does say something. He does say something different. Hello, Traveler. First time we- first time in Far Outpost. Kabooey! What? Far Outpost, Captain? What? I apologize for that. No, I just had destruction. It is nothing. Kapawi. Just lost in game. Uh, thank you, Sydney. Thank you. You just lost in game? What do you mean? That's Fred. He's not very freaky for a Fred, though. What does that mean? What? Now all Freds are freaky. News to me. What does that mean? What does it mean? What does that even mean? Freds are freaky? This is the first time I'm hearing of this. Snow is snow is rare, rare for you. Bakak. In far outposts, it falls all year round. Ba bang. I like watching it shine in the glows of sunset. Ba boomer. Ba bomber. Whatever. That's a fire outpost, Bob Alm. No clothes, but they do mind the but do they mind the snow? No? I grew up in a warm place, so this is like an ice box for me. Achoo! <laughs> and look, it's the traveling sisters. They're here too. Are you gonna be shot in the cannon? We are the ch chilly wanderers, the traveling sisters three. We came to far outpost for the skiing and ice skating, but there's nothing here. It's cold. It's too cold. Just looking at the gameplay. I didn't want it. Uh, no, it's all good. You can pop and say something in chat. It doesn't matter. I told you we shouldn't have at least checked out a guidebook before we came here. Yeah, when you put when I played this game over the course of 20 years, you know, you gained some EXP. And I'm doing badge only runs, so it's a little bit different, I guess. I make a big snow bob today. Maybe I am big as him someday. Papawi. But I do not want the melting to happen to me. Papa. That's that's Gob. He says he wants to get bigger. Hey pal, I hear what you're saying. He built that snow bob just to show how big he wants to grow. Now that's big. That's a bomb for Far Outpost. He's kind of sick of playing in the snow, I think. I'm sure he had fun if we took him to Keyhole Key or Glitzville, you know? Snowmen, igloos, snow fights. Yes, all good. But snow gets boring sometimes. Cha- cha boom I did see your artwork. Work. Uh... Oh, let me... You know, pull on up so I can glance through again. I did look- I did kind of, I did glance at them, yes. It is so peaceful. Wabam! Far outpost is nice, restful place. Waplob. Let's see. Uh, no, I, I just, I, I need to glance at them again. So yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah, the the emotes look nice. They're well drawn emotes. Uh, me personally, though, I am not a personal fan of the realistic art style, but that's probably more of your. Uh, you got commissioned to do that sort of look. I do kind of like the Pokemon. I like the Pokemon look. I'm sorry if you wanted me to be more descriptive. I, I am bad with words, as you can tell. 
Far Outpost is nice, restful place. What plot? There's a bone for Far Outpost. Why is he digging down into the snow like that? Hmm, maybe he's just a deep guy. But yeah, uh, you were do you were showing me the more realistic art style. They are drawn nice. I'm just not a personal fan of that type of look, but they are drawn nice. <laughs> Looking at a night sky makes me feel vastness of space. Lots of sip, lots of space. My, I, 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 I told you, like I probably can't afford it at the moment. Looking at, uh, lots of space. Ba-boom! That's a button from Far Outpost. He seems to be working on something, though. It must be nice to lie in the falling snow and think things over carefully. Uh, did you... Did you see the finalized Scottbot design that I have? I did pull it up on screen, but did did you take a glance at it? I know nothing, Shabui. I know nothing about a local cannon li Lovingly nicknamed Big Ball, Shazoom. That's Swab. He's the type of guy that just says whatever he's thinking, you know? To be honest, I kind of like people like that. <laughs> no, it's all good. But no, seriously though, did you... Did you not see the finalized Scottbot design I showed off yesterday? I don't remember if you were here or not. Uh, yeah, here. Give me a minute. There we go. I'm gonna set you it. I did show it yesterday. Oh, that's how you get Ruin Powder. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, welcome, welcome to the North Winds Mart. We have many goods. What can be done for you? That's a manager of the North Winds Mart. You can buy and sell items here. It's so nice and warm inside. Can we just hang out in here until my nose thaws out? Or th thaws off, Wh whatever. Ah, Mazir Tehu's mustache. I have tried too many times to talk to the girl in the inn, and she kicked me out. Says, incredible. So now I must use the heat of my feelings for her to melt the snow. Uh, uh, achoo. You gotta hand it to this guy. He's going to even. He's come out even to this forsaken place. Talk about totally tenacious. This dude is serious. How did he even get here? I sent it. I, I already sent it to you on Discord, so. But I can pull it back up on stream if you want. This bomb, uh, this bomb is the innkeeper. For a shack's way out of the in the tundra, she's made this place pretty cozy. If you get tired around here, definitely swing by this place to rest up. I doubt they'll have have trouble finding an empty room. I mean, we are in the sticks. Well, I didn't mean to do that. I should actually use the inn. I am kind of low on stats. Fifteen coins. Ouch. <laughs> Did you get a good night's sleep? Please enjoy a meal made by Chef Chef Zesty, featuring local ingredients. If you if you hunger, take it. Take care and see you again. And for staying at the inn, you get space food. Apparently, that's a recipe you can make from Zest Tea. Um, there it is. It can sometimes make you impervious to stat changes. Dried bouquet with various foods. I see. I see. So you have to mix two items with the dried bouquet that you get from Bubbler by giving him a hot dog. That's the mayor of Far Outpost. He doesn't seem too interested in welcoming us. Maybe bombs are like super closed off society or something. Like some super society. Yes, what business do you have here? What? A cannon? No such thing is here. 
What? Listen, we definitely heard there's a cannon around here. What do you want me to say? We do not have one. But then what's this? Did I not tell you we have no silly cannon? I uh, did not tell you we have no silly cannon. Um, is that all he's saying? Okay, so... I forget what we're supposed to do now. now. Yeah, so I'm assuming you, you saw the... You saw the Scottbot image. Eventually, we'll probably go... Uh... PNG route, PNG tuber, but for right now it's just gonna be like that design. Probably try to use it in various things. Um, what am I supposed to do? I forget. Perhaps that oh, right! This guy says, like, more receptive to bombs. Bombs. So yeah, need we need Admiral Bombery to talk to him. I forgot about that detail. Okay, let's try this again. What? Did I not tell you we have no silly cannon? Now listen, now listen here, old boy. You're the mayor. Hmm. How can an official like you lie that way? Oh boy, I know I saw it. The, I saw a cannon the last time I was here. So, do not lie, sir. Maybe eventually, Sydney, but, like, I l really don't think I have the money to afford, like, anything more at the moment. Sure, you call yourself a bomb. I spit at you. You know the you know rules. There, there is to be no mention of cannon to gnaw bombs. No mention. There is no war in Ba Sing Se. <laughs> We must not allow it to be used for evil. Of course, I, of course I know that, you great bullhard. But we must use the cannon to get to the moon, old boy. If we don't, sir, the world could end. Hmm. Ha! World could end. Hmm. Well, we cannot have that now. Still, you cannot use cannon right now because of certain circumstances. Circumstances? We must have permission of Goldbob to use cannon. He is the one who started whole blasting things to faraway places policy. Once he got rich, he let business slide and does not start it up again. Also, General Wright White was one who devoted himself to operation of cannon. But he was so depressed by losing of job that he took the cannon key and ran off to, su to some settlement far, far away. Gold Bob and General White. Yes, that is correct. If you want to use cannon, you must find Gold Bob and General White. Very well then. We can't give it up now, old boy. Mario, what's the search is on. Let's go find those two bombs. Well, once you find them, come back and talk to me. All right. Now it's the search for Gold Bob and General White. Backtracking. Let's start with Gold Bob. We know where he's at. He's in Poshley Heights. We just saw he was on the train with us. This section just brings back all the other times I've played this GameCube version. Especially the first time playing this. Just like, where is he? Where is General White? Because I clearly, I forgot where he was when I first played. But we'll get there in a second. First, let's go to the warp room. Oh, whoops. Come on. There we go. Alright. 
Let's start with talking to Gobob. Because that's easy. And again, if you're on a first playthrough, you probably remember... You probably don't remember where General... You, you might forget about General R White. So, realistically, you probably just go to Gobob first. And... here you are. Good day to you, Gonzalez. What can I do for you today? What is that you say? You must use the cannon of Far Outpost to save the world. Hmm. Well, that is rather a pickle, isn't it? Very well, then. I certainly owe you a favor or two. Hmm. Yes, I should say. The truth is, I hope to resume my business with that cannon someday. And just between us, I only stop because the wife says she doesn't like the noise. Sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get that cannon working, so... I'll need you to demonstrate just how much you want to use that cannon. If it were a matter of money, just how much would you be willing to pay, if I may ask? Everything that I have. What? You pay every coin you own. All of them. You, er, uh, really? So, really? Yes. Well, I suppose I'm just surprised to hear you say that. Staggered, actually. You know, that means you'll be left with zero coins with absolutely nothing. You know that, do you? Yes. I mean, think of it, man. If you spent all your coins, and I mean all of them, you would certainly face a great deal of difficulty down the road. Y yes. But hold on. I want you to make sure you're doing this... This is fully aware of the consequences. Are you sure you won't regret this later? Absolutely sure. Yes. I make good money by going to the pit of a hundred trots. You won't say just kidding later on, or any sort of tomfoolery, tomfoolery like that. Can I really take them all? Really? Yes. Alrighty then. Hmm. Well, you certainly shown me something, sir. So, I give my permission for you to activate the Far Outpost Cannon. Oh, and I wasn't serious earlier. Dear fellow. How could I take your money? <laughs> it's a shame, I suppose. But I'll return your money. Now soldier on, my boy. Oh, RDM issue number six. Rogue Port today. <clears throat> An unknown businessman was taken into custody today by port authorities as he tried to board the blimp carrying large amounts of, uh, of a volatile red liquid. After a few tense moments, authorities identified the liquid as a spicy condiment, and the businessman was sub uh, sub uh, subsequent uh, was released. My god, I can't speak. Uh, our RDM reporters are were mystified by the following unsolicited comment. Buy our new hot do hot sauce, folks! Shop reporter go. This week, we have a, the pleasure of introducing the fabulously luxurious shop on the XX Express, the sales stall. This unique boutique on the exclusive train of the uh, independently wealthy just reeks of money. But perhaps the idyllic landscapes rushing past will loosen your purse strings. Say the sale, says the impeccably dressed manager of sales. Come one, come all, uh, be you rich or not at all, to our lovely sales stall. He then announces a double point sale for all RDM readers. Just show them the screen in the next 15 minutes to double your points on any purchase. Again, true. Cooking for rookies. This is it, rookies. You finally made it to the big leagues. Today's recipe is advanced level one. Today we'll be baking we'll be making ink pasta. Just boil fresh pasta until perfectly al dente and mix, mix lightly with inky sauce. Perfecto. Get ready for gourmet chow tonight. Can you believe it, dear readers? The next issue will be our last. Don't miss it. Really? There's only seven issues of this of this like news catalog thing? Wow. Uh, they must not be doing well, huh? I don't even... Where do you get inky sauce? I actually don't remember. Part of me thinks it's like an enemy drop, but... I don't remember fighting, like, other bloopers. Let's go.
All right, let's go and find General White. He was here at the beginning of chapter one and throughout the game. But he, he's not here. Where is he? Kid, have you seen General White? I've been playing Paper Mario Thousand Year Door a lot lately. I wasn't sure at first, but that game is awesome. I just beat it every chapter. Okay, so you say the same thing too. You haven't changed your dialogue. Who do I talk to? Have you seen General White? Huh? What's that? General White? Oh, he was here before, but he said he was taking a trip, and then he left. Wait, hang on a second. Did he say something about a deserted island to the south? He was either going there, or not going there. Now to run all the way to Keel Hall Key. Luckily, in the original version, these two are warp pipes, so it's not that big of a backtracking, you know? Still annoying, though. We had to go to Poshley Heights, then Petal Meadows, then we have... Now we have to go to Keel Hall Key. Okay, General Wright, where are ya? General White? Yeah, he was here until a second ago. But he took off real quick. Said he was going to a city what floats in the sky or something. He's at Glitzville. Which, if you were playing the original version, you have to run all the way back up to the top of Rogueport and take the blimp. All the way over there. And there's no skipping scenes. So now that we're here, who do I talk to? Is it in the juice bar? I think it's in the juice bar. General White? Oh, you must mean that bo white bubble, huh? Yeah, he used, he used to come here all the time. But I haven't seen him lately. Now that I think about it, I think he headed off to some huge tree. Or not. Welcome back, Gonzalez. Everyone's been on Twitter waiting for your return. We've all missed your fabulous moves. Yeah, I Okay. So now that you found out that he's in Bogley Woods, you have to take the blimp back down to Rogueport. And the fastest route is to run all the way down to the warp rooms again, so you can then take the shortcut. Take the shortcut all the way to Bogley Woods. Who do I talk to? Do I talk to you? Welcome to the Great Tree. Eh, General White. Yeah, he's an old bomb with a great mustache. But I have no idea where he went. He may have said he was going somewhere dark. So now that you have done this... Yeah, Sydney is gone. She left. Let's see. So now that you've done this, there was no warp pipe for Twilight Town, so you have to run all the way to the left, get up to the surface, and then fall through the grate so you can go to Twilight Town. Exactly. Exactly. Now, who do we talk to? Is it the mayor? Do we talk to the mayor? I think we talked to the mayor. Might be a bot, maybe, yeah. Well, if it's the savior of town, it's Mario. Yes, actually, there was a General White around here for a little while. Curious foe, he came here from, for a bit of rest, but still looked tired all the time. Then one day, he just up and left. I'm afraid I don't know where, uh, I don't know, I'm afraid I don't know where. He was mumbling something about the other Something or other about a cannon. Now we go back to Far Outpost. And now we take this pipe.
Now it's back to Far Outpost. This backtracking session was not that bad. I think if someone were to play this now and never have played the never have played the GameCube original, it's annoying, but some people might find the joke might find the joke funny. GameCube though, it was a slog. Is this is this the so-called Great Gonzalez? Ugh. Well, it's me, your worst nightmare. Ah, uh, the new and improved Rockhawk. Don't think I forgot about you, punk. I'm reborn, you coward. My training regimen would blow your mind. I'm on the fast track back to the top. And ain't nobody gonna get in my way. Rock! And still, on rainy days, I feel the bruises your hammer of shame left on this bod. And I feel the rage again. If you ever show your face in the ring, I'll beat you so bad your mama won't even recognize you. Remember the rock. Number one, rock hawk. Oh yeah. That's my rock hawk voice. It does a lot to my throat. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I'm just kind of skipping this guy. Uh, well, I'm not skipping this one, I guess. Well, I can wow your link and get rid of them both. There we go. I'm just wondering how freaking General White gets around so quickly. We're taking shortcuts. I don't even know if he's taking shortcuts. I don't, yeah, I have no clue if General White is actually using shortcuts or not. It just seems like he's actually going to these places. Somehow before we get there, he leaves. Like, he was able to take a nap in freaking Twilight Town. Uh, of course. We're almost to town, too. Uh, there's four of them. Okay. You know what? There's... A... I can get rid of all of them. Multi-bounce. Okay. Now... Rally Wink. Then another multi bounce. I have just spent eight FP on just that strategy right there. Was it worth it? I'm not sure. Alright, now I've made it. Okay, so supposedly General White has made it back to town. Let's talk to the mayor. Oh ho, you have permission to use cannon. You must mean you met up with Goat Bob. All that remains is General White. What? You cannot find the general. <sighs> the mustache gentleman. Where has he gone to? Hmm. Now where did he go? This makes trouble for us. We definitely need him. Otherwise, we cannot even operate that thing. So, what to do? He's asleep already. Seems to be asleep. Wake him up? Yeah. Still asleep. Keep going. Still sound asleep. Uh, he's definitely still asleep. Wait a minute! He's crumpling up the more we jump on him! Oh, that's a cool detail. He's still sawing logs. Try again. Okay, this is a fun detail. He couldn't be more asleep. Try again. 
He's counting sheep. He's woke. Nah, he's still asleep. Sleeping like a stashed baby. He's not even budging. He's still snoring away. Try one more time. <laughs> now, who are you? I am tired. I do not need your attention. I just want to sleep. As it, as it is all hopeless. Hut. That mustache, that hat, and that hammer even. Hutt, I've been looking everywhere for you. Why? Well, to bring Big Bob back online. I have lost my life's work, my very reason to live. I found myself at a wit's end, and then the Roqueport fortune teller told me, Seek the man with the M on his hat, the one with the hammer and stash. He will fulfill your dreams, or something like that. But you need to use the cannon to help you save the entire world. Hip hip hooray! That fortune teller was right! So, what are we waiting for? I shall get Big Bob ready, so go and tell the mayor. Now get moving, I'll talk to you. I'll say this. When you look at- oh, hold on. Somebody tell him it was us that went looking everywhere for him. Exactly. I'll say this. When you look at this version only, this joke is kind of funny. Kinda is. It is backtracky, but it's not as bad as it was. GameCube! No. No, it was tedious. What? General White is back? Then Big Bob's grad revival cannot be far behind. I could just explode with delight. Now, let us shoot you guys to the moon. Yeah, we did it, Gonzalez. No, you follow me. Hurry on now. This way, this way. Let's go to the moon. We're gonna aim higher. Let's see. No, you stand here. We're gonna aim higher than we have ever aimed before. General White, is Big Bob ready? Hut, leave it to me. No, men, you know the drill. Load, load, Big Bob. Ho, ho, hot, hot, boom. Now, positions, everyone. Yes, sir. Bring guidance. Bring guidance system online. Online, sir. System check. System check. All clear. Prepare Big Bob's detonation se sequence. Open outer hatch. Opening hatch, sir. Open inner shutters. Open shutters, sir. Lift Big Bob into position. Lifting, sir. So, if Far Outpost wanted to start a war, they have a good way to shoot the nukes, right? <laughs> Acquire target, the moon. Direction, 7538. Elevation, 5466. Range, 389,603. Wind speed, 1.08, correct direction, 3.03, 3 
correct elevation, 2.39. Target locked. Now open the chamber hatch. No, everyone in. Oh, where they all come from? It's crowded in here, Boom. Stop pushing, Bazoom. Close chamber hatch. You're on my foot. I'm getting nervous. Stop breathing on my neck. Bombs have necks? You want to have a lighter? That is a good point. Uh, you just need to make one of them angry. Conditions all green. Stand by. Okay. It is time. Big Bob Cannon. Fire! <laughs> Yahoo! Yeah, yeah, yeah! That was awesome! Good luck, Mario. No, you just need to call one of them a mean name, and then they get angry, and then it causes a chain reaction, or something, I don't know. We have gone where no plumber has ever gone before. Actually, that's not true, he's been to the moon before. If we look at, uh, 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 Mario Land 2. This is a fun detail. Whoa, that was awesome! Man, who knew adventurers got to do stuff like that? Whoa, we're really truly no fooling on the moon! Let's rock out, Gonzalez! Let's find that last crystal star and save Peach. We're on the moon. There's low gravity. Mario can jump even higher now. He can even hit the invisible ceiling sometimes. Stopwatch, I don't think I need that. Let's explore the moon. It's not too often you can, you know, walk on the moon, right? This is one step for man, one giant leap for Mario kind. And for Mario, yeah. and Bowser sound effects. Let's see. Oh, I already know what that's gonna be. A new remix too, on top. Okay, tattle. What do we got? That's a moon cleft. It's your basic cleft living on the moon. HP 6, attack of 5, defense of 5. Defense is high, as usual, and fire attacks don't work against it. If you can turn it over with an explosion, though, its defense goes down to zero. Okay. So we are too weak. We deal exactly 5 damage. So I actually can't do anything, and I don't... So I think in this case, I guess we'll use up the pal block. Just use it up. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need Bobbery then. Or I need to swap to Hammer Man. So I can have Quake Hammer. But no time for that, it's time for another level up. And it's time for more batch points. Because you can never have enough. Some may be asking, Scott Bob, is don't you just have don't you have enough batch points? What are you gonna That's a lot of batch points you're using. You you're having trouble using them all, and I'm like, but uh, you know, we, we'll find uses. You know, it's never enough. See, look at all these badges I can use. 
There's never enough ba uh, badge points. Let's see. Um, I can add more HP. Double dip? I don't use items that often. I already have the FP pluses equipped. Damage dodges. Don't, no. Not that. I could, I could put happy, happy heart back in. Or happy flower. But it's only a chance. Saving up for flower saver might not be the worst idea. Petty flower. This lowers your attack, so no. You know, I have ice power here, but I, I haven't felt the need to use it. But I also have plenty of batch points, so I also don't care. Oh, wait, wasn't there one more? That's a sound. That's a frog. Sound weirdy. Mousy, peachy, peachy. How the hell does? That's not weird at all. That is very weird. I mean, I I I I'm walking around the moon, and I'm gonna smack some enemy with my hammer, and this is what they hear. That's not weird at all. Clearly. I still didn't actually use my badge points. Um, Maybe I'll save them. Or I could equip power bounce, I guess. HP plus. You know what? I might just save it. For the defend plus, I guess? No, no, no. Save it for Flower Saver. Oh, a curd shell. Very nice. Uh, oh, it worked. Yeah, we're gonna need Bobbery for this one. I think there are just the Clefts here. I don't think there are any other enemy types. So we'll just do this for now, save the FP. Oh wow, the curse activated. We got extra defense. On a fight where we on a turn where we're not even going to be attacked. Yeah. Alright. I guess I'll just move on. Explore the moon. So, are we going to find aliens? Or, uh, what? Maybe we need to go to the dark side of the moon. Let's see. But it, we already know that the moon is not made of cheese. We already know that. Ugh, go away! I just wanted to blow up, blow up the rock. There we go. Oh, get away from me. Alright. One more turn. He can't do anything. You know, I still haven't actually... No, I used Art Attack. I was going to say I haven't used Art Attack, but no, I've, I've used it against... I think, like, the ghosts. I haven't used it that often, though. Yeah, I want to stand on the rock. And blow you up. 
Uh, we're gonna get attacked. Unless I use Bob on Blast. Now I can't get attacked. Well, unless the state unless the stage just is against me. Go ahead, fix the stage. You cause problems. You cause me to get hit by a fork. We're docking your pay. Now I should finally be able to blow up this rock and see what's inside. Nothing! So worth it. Okay, oh, there is a, there is the X-Knot face. Speaking of X-Knots. Right, they deal damage. They don't start the fight. Okay. So I can KO them in a single hit. However, let's tattle. That's a Z Ux. It's a uh, genetic improvement over the original Yux. HP 7, attack is 4, defense is 0. Multiple mini Z Yux will appear to protect the main unit, as you expect. Sometimes they also restore HP to the main unit, which really burns me up. It doesn't have much HP, but those barriers often protect it from attacks. I am actually going to just uh, defend. Because I want the mini-ups to appear. A rock, get out of here! All right, tattle. That's a mini Z Yux. It lives. It lives to protect the Z Yux. There can be as many as four. HP a two, defense a zero. Seems like they won't attack directly. However, if you don't clear these guys out, you'll never be able to attack the Z Yux. Using a multi multi strike attack to take them all out at once is a totally good idea. I mean, I respect them for protecting their. Whatever, but they get no mercy. I think Gale Force will actually work on them. I mean, it would make sense to me. Oh, they could just straight up heal themselves, I see. Well, Goombella, you got this. There we go. I knew there was a new enemy somewhere on the moon. Jeez, what's with everything dropping dried shrooms? Granted, Goombella can heal up too. We'll use it. We'll use it. All right, I need Bobbery. Come on. Power, power juice, okay. Actually, you know what? I will take that. Power punch. Let's see. Another thing to blow up. We could explore more of the moon and try to see what other items are around. A pal block? No. Come on, game. You can do better than that. I know we haven't looped around. The question is... Why haven't I been tattling? The stars are so... 
The stars sure are pretty here. I wonder if I can find my favorite constellation. I'm such a total shameless romantic. It's not even funny. Okay, there's a spot over there to blow up. I need to have... I, I, I need to split this up. Gravity is very low, so it's very slow here. Bobbery. Blow this up. Maple syrup? Okay, yeah, we'll grab it. I don't think I'll need it, though. I have, like, maple soup supers. Okay, let's go up here. Let's blow up this rock. Just kind of trying to avoid the clefts. Oh, I have to grab this. Yes, I will replace something with this. Uh, Tasty Tonic. I don't need that. That is definitely going in storage. That is in the Too Good to Use Club. So we'll probably end up cooking with it. Boy, I guess there are pretty much just rocks on the moon. I guess I knew that, but it's still kind of disappointing. I don't see boring moon. Let's try to speed this up a bit. Oh, another rock to blow up. But first, I gotta deal with this guy. He's in the way. There we go. Yep, it looks like we're gonna have to go with the bob on blast! There we go. And we'll save the effort. Doesn't really matter who gets it. Sadly, we don't have the chance for the bingo. And that was an FP bingo. That could have been useful. <laughs> Voltrum? Nah, I don't really need that. Anything else in here? Not really. Let's go back to Ukum. Go back to Ukum. And we're back at the start. Uh, here we go. Oh wait, are we not back at the start? Or did I just not blow that up? On. Oh no, yeah, we are back at the start. It just okay, I see. We're on the moon. Awesome! The moon I always look up at. Can you believe it? I mean, I heard they put a Goomba on the moon, but who knew we get here? But nothing's impossible on your adventures, Mario. You're you are the coolest. Alright. I forgot to tattle throughout uh, these areas, so we'll see what Gumbella has to say. Hey, Mario, did you see that? I saw a comet or something. It was all like, psh, we Should I try to make three wishes? Do you, do you think I wish for? <laughs> That's top secret. I mean, you're not supposed to tell anyone anyway, so... It's normal. I think I got all the items I would really want out of here. The Ultra Shroom was very nice. Who's putting these items under rocks in the moon? How are they getting here? Actually, it's probably the x Not base now when I think about it. How did the x Nots get up here? And then let alone make a base. Also, it's a good thing the moon has air. <laughs> And I specify that because in Super Paper Mario, we go to space. And Mario needs a fishbowl to, bre fish bowl to bleep, breathe. So, like, it, it's a good thing the moon itself has air. Let's 
we can bail it back out. Time to storm the enemy base. We don't know where we are. This building is so totally suspicious, it hurts. Watch your set, Mario. Who knew there'd be such a weird building on the moon? It's almost unbelievable, actually. At least it's got a big glass dome to keep all the air from leaking out. What's that? Yeah, now that you mention it, I guess we were okay out there with no air to breathe. Yeah, I'd rather not think about that too much, I guess. Let's change the subject. So there was no air, but yet they were just okay. Don't question it. Who's that dude? Whoa, it, that's Mario. So let's get him. Yeah, let's get him, dude. Force fight. No sneak attack. Oh, and that guy has a boo sheet. I better get rid of him right now. Oh, he has one point of defense. You know what? Let's get rid of him right now. I don't want him to use that item. There we go. That's enough. Okay, Goombella. Let's get the info. Alright, that's an elite x knot This guy is the cream de cla uh, cream de la creme, uh, cream de la cream of the x knots HP 10, attack is 5, defense is 1. He'll use regular attacks as well as boosting his power or size. Elite x knots are tough, but you just have to smack them away until they go down. So Mario cannot take them down in one sequel. Get out of here! Jeez. I cannot get rid take him down in one shot, no matter what. So... What's their sleepy stomp? There, he can't do anything now. He's asleep five turns. So yeah, uh, Oogum's not gonna be that useful. Cause they have defense. Unless I use power lift or something. Yeah! Mario, if these x not dweebs are here, that's totally it. Then Princess Peach must be here too, don't you think? And the Crystal Star must be here too. We gotta find it, Mario. The x not fortress. Let's heal up and save. This is the x not Fortress. This seems like a way a way to get in and out. The stars are really pretty out here, though. Or what you can see of them through the fortress windows, anyway. This is a fortress corridor. An elevator connects it to the lower floors. I guess this fortress extends pretty far beneath the surface of the moon, huh? I mean, I hate Grotus, but I gotta give him some props for a pretty cool evil hideout. How come Bowser hasn't made a space uh, base yet? I mean, I guess he made, he tried making a galaxy though, so I guess that makes sense. Alright, I won't be able to take out all of them, so let's put this one to sleep. Messing with sleep, sleep strats is kind of fun to mess with. Just too bad we don't have like a multi-hit one. It's only single target. But lately Mario's just been too strong <laughs> to where using sleep stomp hasn't been that useful. Ah uh, yes, triple the coins. That's a lot of coins! Let's see. I, I think we'll probably just use it. 
on no one. Now yeah, we'll toss it. Ah, this room. You know what? Let's clear out the room first. We got the elevator key for the blue one. And somehow that triggers, like, this... Turning it off. Okay. This room looks like it was meant to store something. It's booby-trapped, I think. Well, not anymore. We solved it. Ultra Shroom. Oh, I need to get rid of something. Honey syrup, sure. I, I, I Actually, no. Make you charged. Okay. But, you know, we'll toss the hot sauce. Ultra Shroom is just too good to use, you know? It goes straight into storage. Choose your destination. I guess we'll go to sub-level one. I don't remember the order. So she says the same thing, right? Next to lower floors, I guess. Yep, okay, so we ha technically haven't swapped rooms. And because that was an easier enemy, first strike activated. We didn't have to waste time with that one. Oh, we're gonna have to come back here. We can't do anything in this room. Also, how come all the doors on are unlocked when we were playing as Peach, we couldn't go into every room? Okay. Multi bounce. Again, Peach laugh with the sound effects is very creepy. Let's see. We need an access code and we don't have it. Hey, they brought this back. Uh, sure. No code. Alright. I guess we're gonna have to go to sub-level 2. So, how come they brought that keypad back? But, when naming or Yoshi, they didn't use it. Don't you know the code? No, I actually don't. I don't remember it. Yes. The room where Peach became invisible. I do not have that code memorized by heart, no. Let's see. Let's try to get rid of this guy. They don't seem to have any defense, so that helps. That's an x not PhD. Guys like this invent all the annoying things we fight. HP 9, attack is 4, and defense is 0. He likes to throw beakers of chemicals. The chemicals can do all sorts of stuff, like making things huge or burning people. He may also use potions to heal himself to, or make himself impossible to hit. x not PhDs are really annoying, so take them out before they boost themselves. Why? I mean... Look, I appreciate this guy wasting his turn and not attacking me, but, like, my dude, you were at full health. You didn't need to heal. And there's no overflow. <laughs> I don't know what he was thinking. Luckily, there's only the two, so we can get rid of them. We're using Goombella a lot. It's not hurting anything, though. Alright, what do we got in here? Okay. 
This room looks like it was meant to store something. It, it's booby-trapped, I think. If you wander off the correct path, it looks like you'll take damage, don't you think? And the solution is on the wall. Oh, nope. Not far enough. Try that again. Okay, get to here, then move down. And mirror over. We got the security card diamond. And again, somehow the treasure is linked to turn this off. Sleepy sheep. You know, we can't... You know, I was just saying, hey, I wonder if there's a way to, like, make everyone go to sleep. And I forgot, that's the sleepy sheep. But let's be honest here, my items here... You know what, I'll get rid of the space food. I'll use it. Maybe we can find a use for the sleepy sheep. Alright. So that was the potion room. We can make a save. What was in here? Something that I can't take care of just yet. Another. Another ZX. Just falls to Mario's might. You know, I have this set up as a badge only run, but let's be honest here, more or less this is Mario only. It's almost at it's almost at the point where this is a Mario only run. It's like so close for that to be the case. Like I feel like if we were to do if I were to do a Mario only run, it wouldn't be that much different from what I'm doing now. I think a partner-only run might be more interesting. It would still pretty much be badge points, but we gotta focus on getting the the partner badges. This way. I know I need to go. Is that the one I need to go into? Oh, star piece. Actually, which one do I need to go into? Is it this one? What's down here? Nope, not the right one. And there's nothing up here. So I don't see the point of that one. Unless there was a star piece I literally just missed, but oh well. Okay, let's try that again. Let me go back into that room. How many shine sprites do I have? I have two. I am missing a single shine sprite. And then we can power up Flurry. And honestly, I don't remember where it's at. So now that we got this hog, we can play that crane game mini game up in the upper floor. We take this. Which I thought you are not actually able to use at the moment. Where the heck are we? Back in Rogueport. We're underneath Rogueport. The Exonauts used that thing to come here for the moon. So that's how they've been getting around. I honestly thought you couldn't leave. Wait a minute. Hold on. Since we're here, I need to go to the item shop. Luckily, there's one right here. I want to throw my Ultra Shrooms in storage. 
Because I don't need them. There we go. I think we'll be fine. That's all I really needed to buy. Now we'll go back. I thought you couldn't leave the moon base this way until after the chapter. I don't know if that's a change. Or if I'm just misremembering. And of course, because I did that, the enemies have respawned. Let me get rid of you first. Do you have anyone that can deal seven damage? I don't think so. I'll just rally wink. easier on myself. Okay. Yeah, I don't need that. I, okay, wait a minute. So, I need to go back in here. Might as well get rid of you again. I had it cleared out. Dang it. No, oh, you can give someone else buffs. I'm gonna take the opportunity to get rid of you. Yeah, he's weaker, but it's not really anything. Oh no, I took four damage. Alright. Bella? There we go, got it. If I jumped on him, I would have been able to get through this. Uh, one or two more fights and I'll level up again. Alright. Let's go to the right. There's only one spot to go here. It's the changing room. Ah! It is me, Luigi, in 8-bit form, with 8-bit Goombella. And 8-bit Koops. 8-bit Flurry. Still freaks me out a little bit. 8-bit Oogump. Eight bit Vivian. Why weren't these in Mario Maker? Eight bit Bobbery. An eight bit Miss Mouse. Not only that, you know, you got your normal eight bit Mario. You have 8-Bit Wario Mario. And you have 8-Bit Mario Waluigi. Alright. How to turn the, on the power. Left, right, middle. Got it. Today's, co today's code is 0140 There was a spare costume. Someone must have grabbed it already. The only way to turn 8-bit is to fall from the... Fall from up there. But sadly, it's only in that room. Where we could be 8-bit.
Okay. Goombella. Sleepy sheep. Of course, it didn't work on everyone. Especially the one where I actually wanted to take effect. So it seems like Sleepy Sheep only lasts for three turns, but S Sleepy Stomp will actually last for five. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. Get rid of you. I don't want you using that. Sleepy Stomp on the other one. Next up, I'm gonna have Mario just weaken this guy. And Goombella can target any of the ones that's about to wake up. Ah, uh, yes, it's a good thing you didn't get to use that turn. You're gonna see that you will not survive this. I think I need more badge points. Look at all the badges I can equip. Who needs HP or FP when you have badges? All right, last time I decided to go with Flower Saver, because why not? I think I'll use my next level up to get me another defense plus. Just boost my defense even more, because why not? What else am I going to use my BP for? Ow. Come on. There's only one. Paddle. All right, that's an X Yux. I hear this is, I hear this read as Cross Yux, not X Yux. Anyway, this is a new Yux designed to protect the extra important areas. They were designed to be unbeatable. They're not. HP 10, attack is three, defense is one. It can produce too many Yuxes at once. And it has an excellent success rate of immobilizing opponents. We gotta do something about that if we're gonna win. Well, uh, I don't have much to do, so we can you. Now the two mini X's are gonna show up. I will go ahead and tattle. That's a mini X Nox. X Yux. It lives to protect the X Yux. Up to four can guard the X, the X Yux. HP is one, defense is zero. It seems like they won't attack directly. However, you can't attack the main unit until you clear all these annoying little pests out. So use multiple strike attacks to take them all out at once. Well, um, how about I just defend? Okay. There's too many Yux. So I could use super jump or power bounds. No, whatever, multi jump. Or we could go gale force. Let's see if my theory is correct. These guys should be weak to this. Yes, I was correct. Or you know, I probably could have saved the two FP for multi bounce. Go. 
this this place is a bit overdone, huh? It just screams, hey, I'm an evil mastermind. I wonder if poor Princess Peach got dragged in here before. What's this room for, huh? Is it some kind of office for the x nauts boss or what? Boy, and what's with these tanks of full of nibbles? Jeepers, that creeps me out. Yeah, security key, heart. Can we turn on his computer? Can we play the Famicom? No, we can't play the disc system. Wonder what games he has. All right. Now I. Th it was zero one four zero two nine. Yeah. Can't use that elevator. Let's go back to sub level one. That is not the elevator. What am I doing? Why did I think that was the elevator? <laughs> sub level one. Go take care of the gar uh, the cog. Was it left, right, middle, or right, left, middle? I think it was right, left, middle. Put that in. Gear under repairs. How do you even get in this place anyway? Nope. It was left, right, middle. There we go. I got it right this time. All right, time to play. Time to play the crane game. This looks like a storage room for valuables. The crane can grab stuff up there. It should work if we set a gear in place and press the buttons in the order. I'm sure you can handle it. It's not exactly moon rocket science here. All right, let's play the crane game. Hold down Y, and then hold down X. Oh, it moves pretty quickly. I real I don't need the coins. They are just singular coins. I just want the star piece and the two badges. Although I I think the crane moves faster. Also, there's a part of me that just wants to see everything, like, grouped up together. I think I didn't go f Did I not go far enough? No. This crane game is very fair. This one isn't rigged. Yeah, this is not a rigged cr uh, crane game. So... Oh, yeah, that magnetized too. Hmm, spoke too soon. Let's try that again. Is it rigged on the coins? Or am I just not, uh... I'm just not going far enough. Well, let's get the one back. No, I think I just wasn't getting it correctly. Uh, I don't know if that's right. Yeah, that's not right. There is a center light that I'm trying to pay attention to, but with the bigger light there, it's actually kind of hard to tell sometimes. I think I got it this time. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Yeah, right now I just want to see all the items over here on the floor. Uh, is that too far? That might be too far. Yeah. 
Funny enough, it just goes in the exact same spot. Imagine if I actually had to put a coin in just to try the crank game. I'd be losing money. Also, why would I put a coin in just to get a coin back? Unless these were like 30 coins each. Is that too far? Yeah, that's too far. Just barely, though. I don't know. Oh, nope. I think I got it. Two more. No, that is definitely not it. I did not time that right at all. Wait. Okay. I guess I did. Just like... Okay. Fine. Didn't think I would have. I did not think I gotten that. I think the crane is slower in the GameCube version, but I could be misremembering. There, I, I beat the crane game. I win. Feeling fine, partner. Feeling fine. So I'm immune to poison or dizzy. Like, is it needed? Uh, maybe I'll equip it, but I don't... How often am I getting poisoned or dizzy? Like, it's not often. It'll be a... Oh, I wasn't paying attention. It'll be a filler badge, honestly. Okay. Multi-bounce. Okay, I messed that up. One's gonna stay alive, but that's fine. If only I was paying attention. I could have saved the 6 FP. Flower Saver is gonna get some work in. Maybe I'll eventually have Flower Saver P equipped, but. I'd rather focus on some of the other ones. Zero, one, four, zero, two, nine. Access, accept, access code accepted. What's this room for, huh? I feel like I've seen that face somewhere before. Hmm. Oh well, forget about it, I guess. Who are you, huh? You came here to get the elevator key so you can access the computer room. Yeah, I thought so. Well then, you're gonna have to beat me to get it. And if you lose, your life is mine. You hear me? Mine! So what do you say? Mm hmm Hoo-ha-ha! -ha. You're mine now! And here we go, folks! The main event! The 66 Trivia Quiz Off! Yay! If you get five an correct answers to the following questions, then you win, win, win! But if you get just three wrong answers, you're toast. You don't want to be toast, folks. Well, what are we waiting for, huh? Here we go! Question number one. Exactly what is hidden here? I'm assuming he means this room. So, elevator key. Elevator key? Are you, you sure about that? Yuck! You're correct. Crud. But that was an easy one. You won't do as well on the next one. I guarantee that. Here we go, sucker. 
Question number two. What is the name of the girl in Petalburg who was waiting patiently for Koops' return? Koopiku. Yeah, we did it. That was an easy one. Question number three. Goomba, Lava Bubble, Buzzy Beetle, and Boo. How many feet do they have total? Feet. Goomba has two. Buzzy Beetle has four. So six. Six feet. Sure about that? Mm-hmm. Question four. It's elementary for non-idiots. Where was the one, the only diamond star? Hooktail's belly. Hooktail's belly. You sure about that? I've already gotten four correct. You're kidding me. Well, fine. I'm gonna toss you an extra hard one your way. You happy now, sucker? And now question five. What was the name of the very first champion of the Glitz Pit? That would be Prince Mush. This is actually a hard one because the names are actually very similar to each other. Well, harder. No! C correct! That's five correct answers. Crud, you win. so mad right now. I can hardly see straight. I lose. I lose! Fine. But I really hate you. Take this, you bum. Pfft. He's very salty. And we got the elevator key. So we need to go to sub-level 2. Take the other elevator. We could go to Peach's room. Well, where she was captured, anyway. Insert the elevator key, there we go. Let's go to sub-level 4. So yeah, I think if you just know the code, you could skip a few steps. If you already know it's 0140 to 9, you could probably just skip a few steps. Granted, I don't know if it's always that code. Peach, are you here? It's me, Luigi. I am here. Peach, you're here! Oh no, we've been ambushed! It wasn't Peach. Actually, I don't remember this sneak attack fight. <laughs> I don't remember this. Well, we got this anyway. It's a single fight. But if Peach is not here... Then where is she? Oh, okay. Security card, uh, club. Okay, so that fight probably did exist. I, I just don't remember. I think, uh, part of it is that the camera zooms in at different angles, so it's making me misremember. Door's locked. Can't get in. Okay. Sub level three. Start with going to the left. Oh, I sh 
I should go back and have Goomba. I have not have been having Goombella tattle in some of these other rooms. Oh. I should probably go back and have a tattle. Dang it. Well, time to start this over. Just walk a little too far ahead. Back up. There we go. And we got the spade. This room looks like it was meant to store something. It's booby trap, I think. Oh, that's all you have to say? Ooh, HP drain. Another one. Again, it's a better mushroom. You know what? I haven't been tattling. Let's see what Goombella has to say. I used it on the crane game room. And I used it in Grotus' room. But I don't think I used it for, like, any of the other rooms. Or, well, okay. wonder what this room is for. There are beds and lockers, but we can't nap here. There's nothing else, really. The weird thing is, it kind of smells nice in here, huh? Why do you think that is? This is a shower room. I guess every evil guy's every evil guy base of Ultimate Doom needs one. Just because you're evil doesn't mean you enjoy Bo. You know what I mean? Okay. Let's go back to sub-level 2, because I wasn't checking uh, checking what Gumbella says on any of those rooms. Except for, like, Grotus' room himself. Sorry, I'm doing this backtracking. Let's just start with all the way to the left. We don't need to go to sub-level 1. I used it in the crane game room. And I used it in the... Uh, memory game. There was nothing else up there. Which is normal attack. Give me all my stats back. Although I, I still need HP. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I did this one. I I tattled that room. I remember that. Okay. This room. This is Grotus's lab. He, he must have his researchers work on various potions here. I don't think we should touch any of this stuff, though. Wrong, wrong move, and. Kaboom! Know what I mean? We can we can let him live. That guy can live. This looks like some kind of teleporter. Who knows where that thing will send us? Maybe that's what the Exons used to go between the moon and the earth. I, I think we have to press the button and then stand on the platform to use it.
Uh, this looks like a lab for genetic e experimentation. Maybe yucks were made here. I guess they must have pretty advanced technology if they could do stuff like that. Let me check. Something else. So we're going over here. I guess we're going to turn 8-bit. But I'm going to see if Goombella says anything while she's 8-bit. No, she doesn't say anything while being 8-bit. Nothing works. Okay. This is a changing room. I guess even x have to change out of their uniforms. But what do you think they look like under those suits? I'm not going to think about it. There's a ventilation duct in the ceiling on the end. That's not good for privacy. That's a good point. And that's Gross's room. Okay, now we're good. Now let's continue on. So level three. Oh, come on. I missed time my jump. Get rid of them one at a time, I guess. I like Kumbella, just get rid of the normal one. Come on. Oh, you heal you're healing yourself, I see. We'll let Goombella take out the mini. And Mario takes out the normal. But yeah, I, I think the code might actually be different. It's not always 014029, I don't think. But if I remember, if it does change, I think it changes based on the save slot you picked out of the four. I'm not 100% sure. Like, if the code does change, I think it might be based on what safe slot you chose. If it doesn't, then... Then you know the code. Oh! Princess Peach might be behind that door! There are four terminals here. Is this part of a locking mechanism for the door? There must be something pretty important behind this door to have such security. This is the x factory. I think they make all kinds of stuff here. It's pretty complicated, what with the crane and the pipe and all the, those gears. Maybe we should take this room uh, one bit at a time, don't you think? But first, we gotta take out this enemy. Okay, so I can get rid of one of them right now. Nine HP, no defense. No one else can beat them. No one can deal that much damage, so... Rally wing. If I'm gonna get attacked, I might as well get attacked by only one of them. Chuck it at me. I see. That was burned. That's okay. Hey, look, I get an attack boost. Not that I needed it. <laughs> Not that I needed it. Yeah, Baba, uh, Bobbery. There's that. That starts moving. Why did they put the switch over there? Can they even hit it themselves? 
Oh, yeah. I I don't know who to grab right now. Let's just grab Pluto. Oh, I see a badge. Or something. That up there. An Ultra Shroom. Oh, I want that. Yeah, I'm gonna go grab that. I don't care if I have to drop something. Ah, oh, dang it. I thought I could make it to time. I thought I could make it to time. No, damn it. I missed it. Missed my... Missed my elevator. I will, okay, I was trying to be clever. I will not do that. I will not be clever. Oh, okay, that doesn't look like a badge. It's another key card. Still want the Ultra Shroom. Right. They move too quickly. So one platform at a time. the jump. I was right there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a f I'm a terrible gamer. I'm bad at games, can't you tell? That's why I play RPGs. <laughs> and even then, this RPG, I failed the jump. Try that again. Peach is laughing at me. She's laughing at my failures. Let's go. There we go. We got it this time. And I didn't have to drop an item for it. Okay, good. Made it back. Cross over here, onto the gears. Jump on here. Um, I don't remember if you wanted to go through here. Yes, you do. I do want to go through here. And that brings a staircase. Okay, yeah. Okay. So if you take this pipe, and it's back there, that pipe leads to an Ultra Shroom. So let's go ahead and grab this. The game has given me a lot of Ultra Shrooms. And I still had enough room for it. Let's grab this. Security key star. Nah, I thought I'd be clever. Oh, I didn't even get the jump on him. Literally. And there's two of them. Well, sounds like it's rally, uh, rally link time. Spend that FP. There we go. There we go. Done. Do I need to heal? I mean, I could heal. It wouldn't hurt anything. 
Where does this take me? Ah, uh, just right over there. Now, I think I'll be fine. Watch as I regret that decision. Now I think we have to take this back. Because I jumped down, you know. Oh, I feel I almost overshot it. Security key. Let's go. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Oh man, I've been waiting and I hate waiting. You again? You've been waiting, huh? Well, so what? What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> I'll tell you what it means. I used the crystal star to lure you here. So that I could take all of your crystal stars. How brilliant is that? Huh? Connecting to chat is a... I think we're fine. And you want to know the best part? Your little peachy princess isn't even here anymore. So Peach totally isn't here. Where did you take her, you huge weasel? <laughs> like I tell you the plan? That's novice villain style. No, that won't be doing anything like that. Sorry, really guys. So, ready for showtime? You guys are gonna be the perfect cap workout for Vagnus Magnus von Grapple 2.0. Rematch with the upgraded Magnus von Grapple. I hope you're up to the challenge, because this thing this thing is raw horsepower, kiddies. I'm i I'm sure this is the same song, right? This isn't a new remix for it, right? <laughs> yes. Last version was buggy, so we made improvements. One, two, a dozen. Get ready for a whole new way to experience pain. You junior varsity losers. Oh, please. As if we're not going to totally whip you for, like, the tenth time. Alright, Tattle. I think this is the same song. Ah, uh, Magnus Von Grapple 2.0. The upgraded version of Magnus Von Grapple. HP 70, attack is 6, and defense is 2. Its basic attack is a drill move that drops from above. It also sometimes releases its fist for flying X-Punches. Each X-Punch has a max HP of 5, an attack of 9, and a defense of 0. When those fists are flying, you may get attacked by the fists and, bat and body in one turn. Take care of those low HP fists early on. Trust me. When the body HP is low, it also fires machine guns and who knows what else. It may not look too different from the last version, but it's much stronger, so be careful. I still think the whole design is a little ridiculous, though. So you have two defense. Can we soft stomp you? Yes. Yes, we can. Here it comes, suckers. Magnus Von- Magnus Drill Attack. Nope. Did not get that timing right. So you have zero. Zero defense. I doubt we could put you to sleep. Could Yoshi. Yeah, you know what? Let's get Ugump in here. Let's go ahead and... Power lift. Okay. 
Okay, plus fours. So, I could ground pound. There's actually something I want to check with Stampede. Let's see. No, the attack goes down each time, so I would have been better off with ground pounding. I wasn't sure if it was going to stay at the same power or if it went down. <laughs> Time to unleash some sweet special features on this bad boy. Oh man, this is gonna be so good. Well, I guess in this case, Stampede would still be good. I could have saved the FP though. There we go. If he does the drill attack, I'll be fine. Let's just do the normal jump. 18 damage. Heck. No, how? What? My sweet power enough robot is on the ropes. What is wrong? What are you gonna do? <laughs> oh, crud. You guys should be little puddles of nothing by now. Oh, well, I still got some tricks up my sleeve. machine gun move. I might not survive this. Kind of low on health. We'll see. <laughs> Eat this. I don't have a life shroom. Oh, never mind. I have defense boost. Well, I was worried for nothing. Soft stomp. Wasn't even needed. Brog. 31 EXP. Not enough to level up, but very close. Grotus! Wow, that's a big explosion. And it looks like Lord Crump is blo blasting off again. And I think he, he's gone this time. There's no coming back for him, right? Where Where is he going to go? How is he going to get back? Gonzalez! We got a crystal star. But the star power is now 8, and we have learned Supernova. So it's gravity-based, right? The last crystal star has been hidden in the x Not hideout on the moon. But by the time Mario recovered it, Peach had already been taken away. Where could Peach be now? And what of the elusive Grotus? Perhaps he holds the key to the remaining puzzle. Mario finally has all seven crystal stars. Where will they lead him next? The Thousand Year Door. That's where it will lead me next. Well, we're here. Now, where is this stupid Poshly Sanctum? A crystal star is there, right? So they say your uh, putridness. And lo and behold, there it is now, right behind you. Great. About time something worked out for old Bowser. In we go. What does everyone have to say? I say, I like to mount a large animal horn on my foyer and to highlight my social status. My, oh my, my, oh my goodness gracious. You have terrible fine horns. Don't you, don't you, great, you great thing. What? That's disgusting. Get away from me, creep. You can't have my horns. Eek! Oh, hello there, guy. Poshley Heights is a nice warm app on a nice. It's nice on a warm afternoon. What's that? You're a great and evil king, are you? Really? Yeah, you know, guy. 
I think maybe you got a little too much sun, eh? Wow, you're big, mister. What's your name? Evil King Extraordinaire, businessman of legend, Koopa Koot. Evil King Extraordinaire. <laughs> I am Bowser. Bowser, Evil King Extraordinaire. E eek! Oh, he runs off. Very fitting. Oh, look, my heart trembles. This fountain, so elegant, it is the art. It is art at its finest. So very, obs so very observant, my dear Gold Bob. Indeed, surely this is an artist, uh, artist's art. Yes, dear, dearest. One cannot measure its worth by coins. That is what makes art. art. And yet, the filthy rich always seek to define art with their ill-gotten coins. Yes, they seek to buy it. Yet, how can one appraise when the eye cannot perceive? Whoa. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. You people scare me, seriously. Actually, what does uh, Cammy have to say? This place is so classy. I wouldn't mind spending my old age here one bit. Yeah, get a little ramp, rampler, a porch swing, perhaps. I digress. Your noxiousness! The sanctum lies before us! The a crystal star will be ours! It's locked. It won't budge. Darn it! Blocked by an iron rock lock. It broke. Whoa, baby! Awesome and open! Talk about ro lucky. I guess rage really pays! Ah, uh, it looks like Pennington got another fake ready to go. Yes, that, this is it, Haggy. It's finally it. This is finally it. Yay, good for Bowser. He got one. <laughs> At last, I've gotten my mitts on a crystal star, yes? Impressive work, Lord Bowser. You're the abs absolute best star-getting guy. You there. I have you now, villains. You are common thieves, aren't you? Aren't you? My eyes never deceive. What are you implying? I'm no thief. I'm Koopa Koot, the shadow thief. The remorseless king of evil. Bowser, the remorseless king of evil. So I will take what I want, and I want this. Uh-oh. But Bowser, you say? Remorseless king of... What was that last bit again? Uh, yes. Well, no matter. Hmm, yes. Yes. I... So I have deduced. Ahem. <clears throat> then listen well. That crystal star is actually a variable red herring. Yes, an imposter. W what A fake! But look at that fancy display! The pedestal and everything! It's so posh! If it's a fake, then where's the real one, huh? If you must know, I gave the real one to Luigi. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you have got to be kidding me. You mean to tell me that Luigi beat me here? Ugh, those Mario brothers are the most annoying brothers of all time. Hmm, how bothersome. The fact that we keep being outmaneuvered is disturbing. But where in the world could Mario and his brother be heading? Where? Lord Bowser! Ah, Paragoomba, what are you worked up over? Hmm, tell me. Now reporting, sir, and, uh, and ma'am, sir and ma'am. Mario collected the seven crystal stars and is headed for the Thousand Year Door. Well, what? The Thousand Year Door? What the heck is that? The Thousand Year Door, an unbelievably legendary treasure, is behind that door. Yar! Then I'm going there too. Immediately. Princess Peach and the legendary treasure will be mine. Cammy, we're leaving now. Ah, oh, well done, Luigi. Way to not fail. Yet, wherever you are, may you continue to triumph. I love how Bowser thinks Luigi is a part of this too. Hi, Molly. You want attention? Are you being needy? 
We finally got all seven crystal stars. Yeah. Now we can open the thousand year door. Of course. We still don't know where the princess is. Well, I guess all we could do is head back to Rokeport. Maybe the professor can have help us find the princess. Oh, yeah. Wow. Uh, we're going to do some troubles eventually. We are also going to... Uh, I think we'll try, prep, try out fighting Prince Mosh. I think we want to go over here. There we go. Where the heck are we? You are Mario. Are you not? It is pleasant to meet you. I am the main computer of this fortress. I am tech. I must tell you something. That is why... I brought you to this place. I think if you try to go anywhere else, you're blocked off. Princess P Peach. I am so s sorry. Most of my data was er erased. My main power was shut down. Now running on backup power with only cached memory. I'm trying to stay operational. Ma Mario. You know that Peach is not here, do you not? Please save Peach. Please. Please. Princess Peach is with Grotus, heading to the Palace of Shadow. I had to tell you that. The princess is in the Palace of Shadow? But... Backup power failing. Mario, use the teleporter room to get back to Rokeport. Teleporter room is on sublevel 2 of the fortress. I will release the room lock. Please hurry. There's barely enough power left to activate the teleporter. I will cease all AI functions to send power to the teleporter for you. But what will happen to you? When the power is all gone, I will cease to exist as an artificial consciousness. But if it will, save Peach, I would gladly do this. Because until I met Peach, I knew nothing of love. Do not worry about me. I'm just a computer. Just a machine. Mario, you must save Peach. I ask you, please, and tell her. Thank you for me. We got it, Tech. So, hurry to the teleporter room on sub-level 2. Now, Mario, save her. Gonzalez, that, tear that tears it, man. We gotta save Peach for Tech 2. Time to leave and head down to the Thousand Year Door. I mean, uh, not right away. There's probably some extra troubles we can do. Maybe we'll fight Prince Mush. Here's the thing. If we start, uh, if we start it, Chapter 8, I don't think we're going to finish today. I also don't mind to keep, keep going a bit, you know? So we'll see. There we go.
Peach. Goodbye. Self-destruct. I guess. Oh no, everything's missable. It's a good thing I grabbed everything that I wanted beforehand. Right? Let's hope there weren't any extra star pieces that I missed. Hey, did you hear something a moment ago? Back in with Well, if it isn't Mario. Over here, son. You brought the crystal star back from the moon with you, didn't you? What? Talking to my good ear. The Exxon Fortress was on the moon. Ah, yes. So Princess Peach was there too, I assume. Sure was, but the ex not boss took her off took her and took off for the thousand year door. Aha! Just a bit ago I smelled some rank air and went to the thousand year door. I saw a suspicious fellow in a cape pass through the other side of the door with Princess Peach. What? He said that door wouldn't open without all seven crystal stars. Believe me, I know. I'm quite certain of it. I saw it with my own eyes. I have a very, very bad feeling about this. Very bad. Princess Peach is in danger. Time is short. We must go to the Thousand Year Door and rescue the princess. I'll run ahead and meet you there. Don't dawdle. You must come immediately. So, how do you get in? Oh, can I trade badges? Yes, I can. Let's get... I can get another flower saver, but I'm going to get another power plus. There we go. Oh yeah, ghosty. Oh, ho, 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 ho. your inbox is now haunted by me, the spirit you met on the Excess Express. I bet you're wondering how an ethereal being like, like myself can type an email. Well, actually, I possess the train conductor to do it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. don't worry, though. He's doing just fine. I think maybe I'll do a new diary like this. Email's convenient, you know? And leaving a record of my afterlife is cool. In, the, in a spiritual sense, I mean. So, good luck with your quest. It's not yet time for you to come over to my side. But whenever you do, I'll welcome you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. farewell. Ghost T from Gavin, Cabin 4. Who took that picture, by the way? RDM final issue. Report today. In a shocking series of events today, local authorities report that ZST delivered a left hook to the jaw to the of the gadabout Flavio late this very afternoon. Our investigation has revealed that the cause of the feisty fisticuffs may have been Zesty's anger that a shipment of gourmet ingredients spoiled on the dock because Flavio had held up the dock crew with a marathon two-day tale of high seas adventure. While Flavio is recovering from temporary memory loss, Zesty has already been get, been approached by Glitzpit talent scout Don Gumbadi. I think the kids got spunk. We'll take the word by we'll take the word world by storm," said Gumbadi. Keep your eyes open for big things in Rogueport and elsewhere, as events continue to unfold and surprise local pride in our humble port town grows stronger than ever, along with the smell. Thank you for reading. Shopper report go. This re this week has been explosive, exclusive on the on the shop and on the shop on the shop in Far Outpost, North Winds Mart. It's so cold there that all of the merchandise is frozen to the counter. Just kidding. The smiling shop manager showed us a fascinating variety of goods, as the sweet-faced little miss explained. It's cold out, but I do my best to explode inside the shop to warm the place up. So come on in. This place is big too, folks. So we haven't seen uh, we haven't seen all of it yet. Come on down to see it for yourself. So many shops left to cover. So little remaining budget for further reporting. But fear not. This bolt. Mm. Okay, sorry. This bold journalist plans to research shops in a new way with my own finances. Thanks for shopping along with me, readers. Cooking for Rookies. This is the final installment for of Cooking for Rookies. To make sure we leave you with a smile on your face, our last recipe will be couple's cake. Just, just simmer spicy soup for a few minutes. Then drop a, in a snow bunny. And presto, before your very eyes, the mixture will congeal and take the form of a cake. Eat it with someone you love. 
All right. So I think we still want to go to the Thousand Year Door at the moment because we want to get the warp pipe updated. Because if I go in here, this is not updated. So let's go to the Thousand Year Door right now, get that updated, and then we'll go and take care of, like, some troubles and stuff. Alright. What kept you, Mario? Anyway, there's nobody here. As such, I can only conclude they used some special method to pass through the door. Yeah, spe special method, huh? It's all come down to this. Hurry now, Mario. Hold aloft the last crystal star. Hold aloft the last crystal star. go. They're all here. Oh no, we lost them all. They disappeared. Oh, never mind. They could teleport, I guess. Well, look, the door. Long last, the entrance to the Palace of Shadow has been opened. Before Princess Peach falls victim to that fiend, before he takes over the world, we must rescue the princess and stop this cataclysm. Let's rock, Gonzalez! Later. So, how did Grotus get in? They say he used a special method. That's not a good explanation. Because even if somehow it's like, it's more explained like, oh, he waited for you to open the door and because you opened the door, he tricked you. He somehow gets so far ahead of you. So like, I don't, I don't understand. Get access to a shortcut to Far Outpost. Where does it actually take us? Probably in front of, basically in the in the final part, where General White's house is. Yep, kind of what I thought. Be able to beat the game today? I doubt it. Act. I kind of doubt it. Hold on, let's... Let's see how far we can go. Let's see how lo how many troubles there are. And we can also fight Prince Mush, but if we want, we can also save Prince Mush for post-game. It might be difficult to beat the game today, though. That's part of the problem. Okay. Would you please deliver the Silver Club newsletter, newsletter routing slip for me? Please come pick it up at my house at Twilight Town. Gotta go to the mayor's house. There isn't much cleanup left. 
I think I'm still missing a Shine Sprite, too. Am I still missing a Shine? Yeah, I am. You know what? I might have to go to the Fortune Teller to figure out where it is. I'm missing one. I don't remember where it is. Twilight Town... Part of my worry is if I go into the Thousand Year Door now, or the Palace's Shadow, and we don't complete it, it will be kind of weird to cut, have it cut off there. And then the only other thing I could think of to do is Pit of a Hundred Trials. But that could probably be its own stream right there. Why have you accepted my trouble request? My, my. Now that's something. Hope to del you deliver the Silver Club newsletter louding slip to the great tree elder. I used it to bring myself. Bring him, I used to bring it myself. But this hip is really gro growling at me. Would you take it for me? Silver Club. Silver Club. Routing slip. It's so well used it's tattered. You know, like, okay. I don't know if there's anything else to post-game. The only things that I could think of we could save for post-game is Pit of 100 Trials. There might be a couple new Troubles post-game. Maybe? And... If we want, we could save Prince Mush for post-game. Even though we could probably fight him now. That's the thing. I'm not sure what to do. Part of me just doesn't like having to cut a stream in, like, a middle of the chapter or something, you know? But if that's how it is, that's how it is. Well, hey there, Marty O. Are you here to listen for to me pon uh, pontificate for a spell? Pontificate. Why, it, this is the, a Silver Club newsletter, routing slip. You came here to give me this? Why, town's mayor sent you. My last youth fountain bath there was nice, I, I recall. Well, oh, this slip now needs to go to Petal Meadows Mayor. But my hernia is acting up. Say now, could you take this to the Mayor of Petalburg for me? I'm counting on you. You said you were streaming longer today. I thought you were aiming to beat it. No, uh, well, hmm. I do have stuff later on, and usually 5 o'clock is my final, like, cutoff point. Like, I don't really go far farther than 5 o'clock. Anything before that is usually either, like, I find a good spot to end it, or, uh... Or, like, I have something else going on. But usually, 5 o'clock is, like, my final cutoff point cutoff point usually usually unless I'm like right there you know what I mean yeah I'm not sure we'll see we'll see yeah when I said I could stream longer I honestly thought chapter 7 would take longer <laughs> Murphy what can I do for you young man eh? silver club routing slip is that... is that from the puny elder? That old so-and-so. That reminds me, that super blood uh, pressure gauge I borrowed from her was great. Since I was the last one to sign this, it just needs to go back to the Twilight Town's mayor. Pack, cap, patooey! But I seem to have caught a bit of a cold. Could you take it to Twilight Town mayor? Thanks, Murphy. But, uh... How about we see what we are after we kind of finish up this cleanup? Because I remember the Palace of Shadow being a very big dungeon. Granted, I thought Chapter 7 would also take longer. And also, remember, I tend to use the... I've been trying to, like, use the tattle to get extra dialogue. So it takes even longer than normal. Hello, Mario. Did you deliver that news letter routing slip or what? 
Mayor Petalberg has a cold. Well, Tarnations and di uh, diddly, uh, diddly dance. I suppose that's why you're being kind enough to bring this ba by on his behalf. Thank you for that. Oh, and before I forget, here's your reward, Mario. Please take it. 30 coins? I mean, it's fine. We Silver Clubbers have been going strong for 20 years with our slogan, Age? What? We discuss longevity secrets and and the like, you know? Maybe you'll join us in 20 years. Har. One trouble down, three to go. Can't really think of what else we could do. I'm not going for a hundred percent, so like it's not like I'm going for like all their cooking recipes or anything. Actually, let me check something. Yeah, okay. Maybe I'm thinking something else. I need you to take something to General White. Please come get it with all speed. Meet meet me in Postley Heights. I know what this is. I already know what this is. Let's go back. Okay. We need to go back to Poshley Heights. Okay, hold on. Let me check. Let me check something. So I did get all the shine sprites in Chapter 7. So... I'm missing one in Rogueport. Hmm. I'm missing one shine sprite. And it's in Rogueport somewhere. I might just use the fortune teller, but I actually don't know where it is at the moment. So, Gonzales, how did you enjoy your cannon ride, hmm? I'd like to get to the moon and look for some investment opportunities. But enough of that. I need you to take this to General White immediately. I think General White is back in far outposts now. It's a bit far, but you can handle it. Another backtracking session. And again, in GameCube version, you would take the shortcut, then you would have to get back to the surface of Rogueport to then go back to uh, to the sewers on the west side so you could get to the pipe to Far Outpost. But this saves so much time. Best change this game has done. I don't care if like there's like no extra like super bosses or something. This is the best change they made. Huh? General White? He left this morning. What pow? Yes, yes, he uh he said he was going to see Cola uh, bartender in Rogueport or something. All right, back to Rogueport. So then once you figure that out, you need to run all the way back to the entrance of Far Outpost. So you can go back to Rogueport normally. to go here. Wow. General 
boy. Yeah, I spoke to him just a second ago, actually. We're old buddies, he and I. I've known him since he was a little snapper that would explode over any little thing. And again, I was the kind of guy that would bonk people for smiling funny. Still, he turned out to be a fine baba. Though, he never ki cared that. He never cured that wonderlust. I'm pretty sure he said he was off to Glicksville next. Go back up. I go... I go back pretty far with the guy that runs the juice shop there. So give him my best. Back to the ju back to Glitzville, and you would have to take the blimp all the way there. And no skipping scenes. What am I doing? It's this one. Juice owner! General White. He pounded three white chocolate coconut mochas and bolted. He drops in every once in a while. Hey, and you know that lady in the black dress? I think General White has a thing for her, but that's just my gut talking here. She's darn cute after all. Guys come in here more for her than for the juice, I think. Hey, and just between you and me, one of her admirers is Rock Hawk. Oh, and now that I think about it, General White says he's going to Far Outpost soon, but first, he had to meet General Gold. He had to meet Gold Bob, or not meet him, or something like that. So he's back to Poshley Heights. Which, if you're going to Poshley Heights, you have to take the blimp back. The train would take longer, so you have to go all the way down to the warp room to then get to here. Just so we go back here to Gold Bob. Granted, it's not taking me literally like to every area, but still. Oh, Gonzalez, General Wright was just here a moment ago, but you had the thing I wanted to give him. What a ro rotten bit of luck. He said he was headed back to Far Outpost. My General Wright is a fine bomb, but he does tend to wander. And once he's asleep, it's near impossible to wake him, don't you know? I told him to stay out and awake, so get over to Far Outpost. Sorry about that. Then, take the warp pipe... Then you had to go to the surface just to go to the sewers on the west side so you could get to far outposts through the normal way. Ugh. The joke wasn't funny in GameCube. I still think this side quest... Well, I do think when you look at the Switch version on its own, the general white sub, uh, backtracking section, I think it can be funny now. This, on the other hand, is now pushing it, you know? It's now pu pushing the joke too, uh, farther. They kept it going too long. Now we need to wake him up again. We gotta do this all over again. It's the same amount of time, too. One more? Nope. Still going. Still snoring away. One more time. There it is. Hut, hello, Mario. Do you need something? Uh huh. Hut, what? A delivery from Gold Bob. You came all the way to bring it to me. Well then, thank you for that. I'll take that. I'll take it off your hands. Ah oh, yes, well delivered. So, you'll go fetch your reward, I assume. So, well to Gold Bob when you see him. Well then, perhaps I'll go check on Big Bob. 
And now that we delivered the package, we have to go all the way back to Poshley Heights. Again, for the third time. <laughs> Which means you had to run all the way back to the normal exit. And then get to the warp room so you can get to Poshley Heights. Why did I like the Game <laughs> like the GameCube version in the first place again? Yeah. No, this was tedious in the original. Did you find General White? I see, and he received it. Good, thanks, Gonzales. Here's your reward. Sixty-four coins. How fitting. I need one more coin. All right, that's one trouble down. Two more to go. Two more to go. Two more to go. I must meet my darling Luigi. Come to the fountain in Poshley Heights for details. All right, back to Poshley Heights we go. You see, I am currently dressed as Luigi. Is that good enough? Actually, you know what? Let's go down this way so I can get my fortune read. Okay, I'm missing a shine sprite. Where is it? Work done with work, huh? Act. Very nice. Now that you're done, what shall you do about the weekend? Alright, where's the last shine sprite I'm missing? Underneath the rope port, you leave this building, roll up, and go to the left. Oh. Okay. It's literally in this, in this area. It says I have to go into a tube, but that's that's not necessary. Oh, you could become tube to get underneath the uh, where you don't need to blow it up. We need to go up here. I see. Then go this way. This. Okay. We still needed the super jump for this. There we go. Now we got it all. That was the last one. No plans. Um, other. I'm meeting up with some family today, but that's like the only thing I, that I know of. The weekend, I'm not sure what else, what I'm gonna be doing. Although, something will probably end up popping up. All right, Poshley Heights. I can totally tell I never met him before, but I absolutely but I can absolutely tell you're the real Luigi hey, I knew it. This is so cool. Oh my gosh. What should I say? Ah, I'm totally freaking him out. I'm freaking out Luigi. Oh, no. What should I do? Oh, uh, right duh 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 the cake Ah, Luigi has too many things. I'm so stupid. Duh duh. I have the worst timing. I'll just leave this here Um what should I do? Should I ask for a handshake? 
Uh, hey, bro. Say, why are you dressed like me? Hey, who do you think you are? You filthy imposter. Police! What? I'm no imposter. I'm Luigi. Hey, say something, Mario. Mario, you ass. Eek! Ew, ew, ew! How dare you speak to Luigi! You liar! You lie, E.G. You never be- you'll never be Luigi! No matter how many green hats you wear! Now stop interrupting our special time! But I'm pretty sure I'm me. This is a nightmare! A bad dream! I won't believe it! Wake up, Luigi! Ugh, oh no! What have I done? You have seen such a horrible side of me! The worst side. Don't, don't worry about it. Oh, thanks. Really, Luigi, you're so sweet. And thanks for coming today. I'll always treasure these moments. Always. So please, come see me again, okay? Mario, you, you ass. <laughs> you just <laughs> impost became an imposter to Luigi. He didn't deserve that. He had a fan. Let's just use this up. Choco a chocolate cake. 5 HP, 15 FP. What do you need? Oh, we got the sound gallery for Rogueport now. Now that we have it all. Alright, um... Recipes. What do you need for it? Cake mix with inky sauce. That doesn't sound like chocolate to me. So it's not really chocolate cake. It's squid ink cake. I don't know about you, but that doesn't sound appetizing. Or is somehow Zesty able to turn squid ink into chocolate? I mean, not sure. We got one more trouble. Oh wait, let's power up Flurry right now. Just get it done. Well, we only got one partner left. Yeah, we'll skip it. Yeah, I don't care. Care to power up more? I'm maxed out! There's nothing else I can do. We've maxed out our partners. Alright. One more trouble. I've lost my voice because of the stupid stuffy cold. you bombski! I want someone to bring me some honey candy. Your pow Great for the food right here. I think you can make it by combining cake mix and honey syrup. Your chow be waiting next to the snowman at Far Outpost. You got Blabo. Alright. Cake mix and honey candy. Do I have... I ha Or honey syrup. And... Honey syrup and cake mix. Wait a minute. Um, I need to... I'm actually full on items. I need to get rid of something. Oh, I can put my ultra shrooms in storage. Then I have to go get cake mix. Oh, hey, it's Super Luigi 4! 128 coins, totally worth it. Alright. So, my two Ultra Shrooms. I'm almost full on storage. Actually, you know what? Can I sell, like, anything in here? I don't really need these. Holy, I have five Ultra Shrooms. Okay, wait a minute. You know what? I, I want that life shroom. I could sell the honey mushrooms. I don't need those. Ten coins. Hmm. Koopa tea. I don't need that anymore. Fresh juice? No, thanks. 
get some of this out of here. How block? No, I'm good. Fire flower's too weak. I'll keep Ice Storm, though. Power Punch, Curd Shell, Dizzy Dial. I'll sell the Curd Shell. We'll keep the Dizzy Dial in here. Alright, that helps. That clears out some storage. All right, uh, underground heat source discovered. Any link to the treasure? Let's all get rich. Graffiti corner. I saw a weird guy scaring a peach off somewhere. I have a bad feeling about this. An underground dweller. Oh wait, whoops. Cake mix first. I should have enough coins. I don't think I need to play a mini game. Cards, you got members cards. You can play other mini games. Tube and boat game. I just want to trade in my winnings. Or cake mix. Right. This this might be the only way to get refund. I mean other than extra FP pluses. You could get m more money out of this. It looks like this is the only way to get money money, though. Not the wart? Well, I'm not going to grind for him. Let's go make the honey candy. We're basically making a cough drop. Two items. Honey syrup, cake mix. I could just make another maple super. Nah, I'm good. Honey candy. Alright. Now we need to head to Far Outpost. I think he just has the items. So I don't think we need to buy anything from him anymore. We got all the badges from him, I think. At least I think we do. Far outpost. At least the game already told you how to make the candy before you even, you know, attempt to go talk to him. I think it's the one by the snowman, so. That, that's terrible. Uh, I, I, I think about that. Ah, finally, I can speak. Yapow! I have been exploding so much that I completely lost voice. Yup, Louie. Thanks, your crackety. Here is token of my appreciation. Yup, boom. 30 coins out of that? Okay, fine, whatever. Alright. That is all the troubles. So we'll have to three. I can keep going for like another hour, hour and a half. So, okay, here's the question. Actually, hold on, let's, uh, I think there's, I think we could talk to Luigi and we could get some more lore. Well, overall, I think we're heading down. We can, we can start going to the Palace of Shadow and see how far we can get. We could do that. Because the other option would be Prince Mush. But we can also just save him for post-game. I honestly thought Chapter 7 would take longer. Alright, what do you have to say? Oh, one more. 
The heroes knew that the seal might not last forever, and they sought to make the crystal stars available to one who might need them. So before going to their individual dooms, they made a map to all the stars. And to prevent an evil force from misusing this map, they placed it in a box that could only be opened by the pure of heart. And that's that. Alright. So there was only one more lore. We can go find Luigi. We can also read, all, read out the tales of... Uh, Lumpy going into Dry Dry D Desert. Might as well. I skipped out on that. Is it going? Did you come to read my journal? Sure. Alright. The night before. I'm, fi I'm finally off tomorrow. I filled my pack with cheese and I'm ready to go. My to-do list is crossed off. I owe so much to all my investors. Not just money. The old, old get-rich-quit dream. But this is different. I have a reason. See, I owe it to my hometown. It's so cold there. People are constantly shivering. If I find a oil and send it there, then people can use it to heat their homes. Oil will make me rich and them happy. It seems to be the perfect goal, right? I have always, always had this dream since I was very small. Of course, getting rich is part of, part of it too. But who doesn't want money? Money, money, cover me with it, please. Ah! Well, enough of that to, for tonight. Yeah, that's a little embarrassing. The buzzer fiend. Why did it have to turn out like this? I got to tow town by boat, then took a train to the foot of Mount Rugged. Unfortunately, you can only get to from Mount M Mount Rugged to Dry Dry Desert on foot. And the tragedy awaited for me as I slogged faithfully up that winding trail. It was a huge, awful vulture. I had read about in my travel brochures. This buzzer accosted all travelers on Mount Rugged. I had tailed it, but buzzer had me in its sights. I felt a piercing jolt as it all, as it claws dug dug deep into my backpack. After dropping me onto the cliff, onto a cliff, buzzer seemed to forget about me and disappear. I let out a sigh of relief, but when I touched my back, I noticed my pack was gone. The pack, it was in my food. In it was all my food and money to start the operation. No! That mangy buzzer made off with everything of importance to me. All I have left is this journal, a shovel to dig for oil, and my life. Perhaps living is miracle enough, or so I'd like to believe. But now I can't turn back. I've climbed down the mountain to the desert. The dry, dry desert sprawls out before me, beckoning dreamers and fools. I am both, and I am set with with a heart full of dread. <sighs> I am now at a place called Dry Dry Outpost. Someone pulled me, lifeless and parched, from all from the merciless desert floor. It was a Koopa with a fine mustache named Colorado, an angel in the pilf helmet. It, he was a world traveling adventure archaeologist. I told him about Buzzer and my quest for oil and my dreams of riches and warmth for my people. After I spoke at length, he gave me food and water. I asked him why he should be so kind, and he looked into the distance and said, Turning one's back on an ambitious dreamer invites others to do the same to you, old boy. I just, I just want to believe in every dream this sad old world ha can muster. This guy, he still chases his own dreams, dusty dreams of archaeology. We stayed up all night discussing each other's dreams. It was great. I am now at a desert oasis. After Colorado left, I set out from Dry Outpost to find my digging pit. But the desert is so wide, it's impossible to find anything without a guide. I had no idea where I was going, and my head was splitting in the heat. My throat was burning and scratchy. Was I awake? Was I asleep? I heard a voice calling for, to me from far away. Hey, are you a nice guy? If you are a nice guy, then give me something nice. I didn't have any food or water I received from Colorado. I had nothing. Why do you lie here? If you are a nice guy, give me a nice thing, and I will help. I croaked. All I have is... All I have is my dream. When I next awoke, I was at this oasis. You're awake, I, I heard. There was a little mouser there in a gray head scarf. My name is Mustafa. You had nothing to give, but I got something nice anyway. 
I don't know how, or, I don't know how or why, but it seems I'd been saved by yet another stranger. Do you need a guy? Do you need a guy? If there is somewhere you want to go, I'll take you. Unbelievable. I have actually found a reliable guide. We're here. I'm finally at the spot where I'm supposed to dig for oil. I was told to draw a line from a blue cactus to a cactus-like rock. I went north in pre uh, precise distance from the exact termination point. I ended up here, at a point between dry or dry ruins and the oasis. Maustalfa has guided me this far with skill and bravery. I said, you're a nice guy. Your dream will come true. Maustalfa believes this. He left, then leaving me to fight this battle on my own. All I have to do, he all I have to do is dig here until I find oil. That's all. I stocked up on lemons and limes at the oasis, so I last, so I should last a few days. I must find that oil. <laughs> a long dig. I am digging for oil now, and my hands shake as I write these perhaps final words. I have been digging from sun up to sun down, but still no sign of that sweet creep. Maybe I've just picked. A dry spot in this cursed spot, in this cursed desert. But I am sure this is where Mer Lovely told me to dig. Yes, I'm sure of it. There is no more food or water, and even my hopes have dwindled to nothing. Uh, this is it. My dream dies here with me under these unforgiving skies. My dream, my my wait no this is not it my dream is of something else yes something else dig keep digging i must keep digging arms move body work find oil i am now on a boat back to dear Roqueport. I did it! I finally struck oil in that dry desert! I have left the day-to-day -day operation to my men in the field, and now return home. It all came true. Striking it rich, finding oil. My dream. But somewhere along the way, this became more than just my dream. So many people have helped me make this dream happen. So many. You had nothing to give, but I got something. You had nothing to give, but I got something nice to give. Dear Mufasa. Mustafa, I just want to believe in every dream the sad world can muster. Ah, Colorado. People who lent me money and gave me food and showed me the way. So many hands reaching out to help me. I must do something for all of them. That feeling has pushed me even harder. I must share this feeling with the people who helped me as I struggled. I must share these words that have, shared, that have seared themselves into my heart. Dreams come true. Lumpy. It's nice referencing to the original Paper Mario. It makes me wish that if we ever got another Paper Mario game, and it took place within the Mushroom Kingdom itself, we go back to Dry Dry Desert and there was an oil field run by Lumpy. Granted, I have not played Origami King, and I'm pretty sure that takes place in Mushroom Kingdom, I think. But knowing that what went down, they probably don't reference it. Where's Luigi at? Is he even here? Normally you're able to talk to him. Hmm. I don't see him. Maybe you can't... Maybe he doesn't show up until post game. Because I want to know what happens. Yeah, he might he just might not be here. Well, I got time. Shall we just start the Palace of Shadow and see how far we could get? I can't guarantee I could finish it today though, but we could try. I'm pretty sure Pit of 100 Trials would take too long. Oh yeah, it would definitely take too long. And that's probably a stream on its own. Prince Mush, while we could attempt, won't take that much time, I don't think. 
or I should say it won't eat up that much time. Whether I win first try or not. Unless I keep losing it, I don't know. Let's attempt the Palace of Shadows, then. Let's see how far we can get. I can't guarantee that I'll beat it today, though. It's either that or I ended. But I think we can keep going. The Thousand Year Door, Chapter 8. This place is nasty, but we don't have a choice. We gotta cruise through and save Peach before this whole cataclysm happens. Come on, Gonzalez. Bella? This is the entrance to the Palace of Shadow. It's seen no visitors for 1,000 years. It's so big, it kind of overwhelms you, doesn't it? I don't like the vibe of this place. Maybe it's just my nerves. room. There's a long stairway connected to the under this underground lake. Those lights floating in the darkness are pretty, are pretty, but also pretty spooky. How were they lit for a thousand years? Again, how did Grotus get through the door? I have to ask that. I'm gonna stop the watch, okay. Wait, is there no battle music? Huh. Maybe it's only for this area or something. There's no battle music right now. That's a swoop, uh, swoopula. An airborne blood-sucking bat-like thing. HP 9, attack of 4, defense is 0. If, as if losing HP wasn't bad enough, this little creep adds yours to its own. How totally, totally gross. Don't let it bite me, Mario. Badge points! 69 badge points, exactly. Nice. We're at the funny number of badge points. I have five points. What was I going to... What was I going to equip? Um... Not lucky starts. I had two left over. Oh right, uh, defend plus. Just for some extra defense. Next level, I may uh, unequip and get power, or maybe there's a level one variant. I don't know. We're, we're fine. We're fine with extra defense. So I could get rid of one right now if I rally. Rally Link. Okay. And I think that'll be better. Because the alternative is have Goombella weaken one, and then get attacked by both of them. So, yeah. We'll spend the 4 FP. Bingo! Not that it matters. Super guard off. Good. Yeah. Right, let's 
keep on going. There we go, good. I wonder if we are gonna get battle music eventually. So, I could multi-bounce, then rally link, and then multi-bounce again to get rid of all of them. That's a lot of FP, but might be worth it. Get rid of all of them in one turn. Regular mushroom. Okay. It's back here. Shooting star. Oh, that's pretty good. I think I'll get rid of the regular mushroom. I don't need to use it for anything. Okay. What do we got here? Mr. Softener? No, I'm good. I don't need the Mr. Softener. I am pretty sure there's normally battle music. So it's weird that there isn't. That's a dry bones. It's a former Koopa whose spirit animates its bones. Eek! That's so freaky! HP 8, attack is 5, defense is 2. Once HP goes down to 0, it collapses to a pile, but it will eventually rise again. Fire explosions will put an fire and explosions will put a permanent end to it again back up, though. A dry bones will sometimes build friends if it feels like it's outnumbered. If you don't take them all out close together, they'll just keep coming back. Let's light them all out at once, and quick. These things totally freak me out. So, I can't KO. Wait, actually, I might be able to. Now, if I rally wink. A rock, get out of here. What's with these freaking con uh, audience members? Constantly trying to throw bad things at me. If I wasn't able to get that win right there, what I would have done was get Bobbery out to destroy the other guy. Get out of here. Okay. So, I cannot take out the dry bones, but I could get rid of Swoopy. And he's weak to fire and explosion, so let's get Bobbery out here. Miss Mouse might do better. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, they do the same amount of damage. Okay, he picks a target and you're stuck with that. Okay. Done. Easy. Fire flower, but I can't carry. No, toss it. It's too weak at this point. Wait, did I? Did I tile this room? We're inside the Palace of Shadow. There's a long corridor leading down. This palace sure is big and super rich looking, huh? I wonder what kind of people lived here before the place uh, slept for a thousand years. Could have used Bobbery to get first strike, but oh well. Oh! Okay, how do I want to get this to work? Ball and blast. Let's see how this goes. 
Ugh, I'm wasting a lot of FP. Multi bounce. There we go. That was a lot of FP wasted. Might have to use Sweet Feast or something. is going to be able to use Ice Storm. There's no escaping it. Oh, well, you know what? I should try putting him to sleep. Never mind. They're all frozen. Okay. Well, I can take this slow. And he's gone for good. goes and gets rid of the one in front. Oh, look, more defense. I guess I could use that. Ah, he's building a friend. Oh, fine. I can still get rid of him. You're just delaying the inevitable. XP for all that. I probably should have attempted Sleep Stomp on the one with the item. There we go. New enemy. I, ha I could deal a total of two damage to them. Alright. Bella? Tattle. That is a bombshell big bla bill blaster. It fires bombshell bills. Makes sense, right? HP is 10, defense is 4. It's really, really tough. Yeah, hard to hurt this guy. Thing is, if you don't take it out, you'll keep shooting. It'll keep shooting bombshell bills at you. So you gotta figure out a way to beat it and fast. So can I? I doubt you could sleep. Can I stop stop? Yes, you can. It still has one point of defense. So I think. Well, I got a talent. That's a bombshell bill. These things are repeatedly shot out by bombshell bill blasters. HP 3, attack is 6, defense is 2. Its attack is high, but its HP is low, so take it out before it takes you out. Then again, if you focus on these guys, you'll never win. Smack that bombshell bl bill blaster. I have to use multi bounce. I still need to go with multi bounce. Now we got one left. Let's get let's get Miss Mouse. Ignore defense. Luckily, it's just enough for her to get the KO. Yeah. 
I still wish Miss Mouse had more power, but maybe this is what Watt had. Did. No, Watt had could do like what five, six damage. Actually, yeah, probably five. I feel like Watt was more powerful. Inside the palace of shadow. This is a corridor, I think. Don't let that enemies of traps distract you. Come on, attack me. There we go. Perfect. See if I could get this badge. Okay, what is it? All or nothing. Boost attack by properly executing action commands. Drops to zero if failed. It might not be that bad. Because you just need to basically succeed in your jumps or hammers, right? That's basically what it means. How often am I messing up? Sometimes when I do that, it's mostly on purpose. Honestly, it might not be a bad batch to, uh, to equip. Come on, swoop at me. Is this why Slogo exists? I'm gonna use this dried shroom on myself. Try to undo that spike damage. There we go. Made it. We're inside the Palace of Shadow. There's a long bridge over the lake here. Those fire bars in the middle are kind of a problem, huh? You better avoid them. If you're all sketched out uh, trying to jump them, uh, you just use Vivian's Veil ability. I guess I'll make a save. But no, we're going to play Fire Jump Rope. and faster. You get some coins out of it. And they disappear. Is it worth it? Well, not if you're, like, trying to rush to the ending. Because you have to jump it, like, a good six times. Well, even longer. It's so luck. We're so lucky that the coins don't just fall into the river or the lake. I mean, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A full ten times. Wow, okay. Okay then. I didn't successfully do it because I'm off the towel. That's a phantom ember. It's an angry spirit born of hatred and confusion. So, um, 
I'm not too cool with this thing. The black HP 10, attack 5, defense is 0. You'll take damage if you touch it. And something even worse will happen if you attack with fire. Also, if it attacks you, you might catch on fire, so try to guard well. Let's send this ghoul back to the grave, okay? Please? Now I'll get rid of it. Higher attack power because I have the ice stomp still equipped. One. Oh, these are two separate ones. Okay. They are two separate fire bars. I thought they were considered one. <laughs> I'll give it another go. Okay, no, I'm, I'm I have bad de death perception. Okay, we'll try. We'll just move on. Actually, this is probably okay. Fine, we're, I'm moving on. Moving on. Ten co uh, like ten coins is not worth it. I didn't realize I could fall off. I guess there are no guardrails, so now we need to become two. Might as well full heal after all that. Goombella? What a humongous room. I'd say it was pretty, but even this place feels weird. It's like the whole palace got cursed or something. Did you just say, duh, to me? Oh, I should have... Glurg, glurg. None shall pass by. Let those who disturb her sleep fall into the depths of endless darkness. Eek! May the intruder never find the key to this door. I used the hammer, but, you know, it is what it is. Okay, sadly... I can't... Okay. Uh, Sleepy Song. Nope, you can't... You can't. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna stop him from attacking. Blast is not enough to take him down. Well, let's tattle this guy, though. That's a Dark Bones. It's the baddest of the Bones game. HP 20, attack of 5, defense of 2. When its HP goes down to zero, it'll collapse into a pile, but it'll eventually rise again. Fire explosions will put a permanent end to it getting back up, though. Its HP is high, so it's hard to take it down. Like any other bones, it sometimes builds friends if it feels out outnumbered. It's a pretty tough enemy. You better take it and its buddies all out at once. Can I soft stop him? Okay, good. You can lower his defense. <laughs> the one guy taken out. They don't seem to alter their target. Okay. 
So, if I go with Bobbery... Let's see what we can do with a bob on Blast! We got rid of most of them. And we're done. And we gotta level up. More badge points. We're at 72. So with that, we got a palace key. Can I equip anything? All or nothing costs four. It is cheaper than putting another power plus on. And I also don't, yeah, we'll leave it alone. Again, I have the badge points. <laughs> not worry. You know what I don't use? Tornado jump. Oh, an Ultra Shroom. I will take it with me. Let's get rid of the stopwatch. I have clocked out of that. Okay, so I am able to lower defense. And that is probably a good idea. Now he should have zero defense, or at least one. It's just... Oh, I got... I messed that up. My bad. I don't know why. I thought I was supposed to mash him. I guess that kind of worked out. Let's get Miss Mouse in here. I just realized she has 25 HP. Jeez, she can't even have 30. It's gonna take like two more turns. Unless I multi bounce. There we go. Now we can multi bounce. Probably got at least one or two more. Actually, we probably have two more sets of these. Hey, look, triple coins. That's a lot of coins. All right, how many of these guys are there? If I multi bounce, I cannot KO. Unless I rally wink. So let's just do let's just do that. There we go. in here. Oh, this is nice. I can save my FP. Okay, so there's probably going to be one more set of cannons. Oh, you know what? That probably would lead to a battle. But I have first strike. 
That makes sense. Okay. I'm gonna have to soft stop. You have lower defense. Let's go back to Bobbery, I guess. Oh, let's not mess this up. If I got the first strike, that would have worked. I would have taken him out. But now I have to multi bounce. I guess I'll do this. Same amount of damage anyway, so. Multi bounce. Notice how I never use Flurry. <laughs> I showed some uses of Flurry, but still don't really use her. I I get like uses out of like every actually, you know what? I haven't been using Vivian. Now I think about it. We're inside the palace of shadow. There doesn't seem to be anything special here. Still. Even, it has that same gross feeling, even though it's so nice and spacious. Hold on. Uh, I gotta... You know what? Let me finish this fight. Because if I get attacked by an enemy, like someone throws a rock at me, Vivian a lot to get burns on everyone, but fiery jeans just cost a lot. And now that I think about it, last time I don't think I really used up a lot of power pluses. Now I'm really going ham on it. You know what? I gotta pause it here for just a second. Uh, I got to step away for just a minute. I have to get the oven started, and I might take care of a couple things. Fill my water if my dog needs to go outside. I'll take care of that. Be right back.
I am back. I will need to step away for a second in about, I don't know, 10 minutes. Okay. Well, that works out, I guess. Let's go attack this one. You, one left. Perfect. Get out of here. Robbery is getting a lot of uses in this area. Okay, so what I could do is rally one. Here's the thing. Bobbery does deal extra damage. Not enough, though. Not enough extra damage. here. Power up, defense down for your partners. Okay. And an ice storm. Yeah. Let's make a save. Again, I gotta keep an eye on the time right now. Ah, uh, this room. Okay. We're inside the Palace of Shadow. Seems normal, but I, I bet there's a secret here. I hope you remember the puzzle in Bowser's Castle in the first game. Oh, oh, go down here. It's based on the flame. Which one is lit? And now we got the other one. It's... I'm going to say it's the lower one. Nope, it's the upper one. Wait, no. It's neither. Ah, uh -huh. I didn't think we would have to go the other way. And pull fast one on me, eh? Now we go to the upper right. And then back the way we came. Then down the right. We made it here. I didn't think we'd make it here so soon. We got. We get out of one rear room just to find another one. It's huge. I mean. It's like an underground city, right? What is this place? This is the palace courtyard, but it feels so cold and icky. It's like time stopped here. What can we do? Looks like we got to get rid of some chain chops. How much defense do they have? That is a chain chomp. I hate to get chomped by those teeth. They look nasty. HP is seven, def attack is six, defense is five. 
Its body is hard, so most attacks won't do much. Plus, you can't damage it with fire or ice attacks. Luckily, it has low HP, so if you can take it down with a special move or an item. Chain shops are, like, super pumped all the time. Don't they ever get tired? We can also lower the defense. But she has a point. We're better off using... Yeah, let's just go Supernova. Show it off. Just keep mashing A. One more. Wait, hold on. Oh, that was it, okay. 15 damage. What I'd probably have to do is I would probably have to lower their defense. Or I could spend 10 coins to get a full refill. Yeah, it's probably... Well, let's just try without using it. What can I... Oh, there's three. All right. So if I were to somehow beat them... Let me try a Sleepy Stomp. You cannot put them to sleep. Miss Mouse ignores defense. So another turn will take him out. Of course, super guards still work. Ugh. You. Right. Actually, you know what? Oh, hey! Flower point. Thank you. Let's actually go with Earth Tremor. They have enough HP for this now. It's been a while since we've done this. Most enemies have way more HP than this. There we go. At least the special moves ignore defense. Is that enough to level? It is. Full recovery. And badge points. So many badge points. <laughs> 75. This is ridiculous. And power plus. Now I could do a total of six damage per attack. Actually, so my jump attack is 12. That is ridiculous. I don't need that. Make a save. Okay, I got rid of the change. Oh, right, duh. Flurry. Right? Oh, no, no, no. It's, uh. What's this? There we go. Again, who put that there? And why? Mm. So what you're saying is the only people that can get over there is those who are cursed. That's what the that's what the game's telling me.
Sweet. Right, go over here, then you can. Again, the only people that can get over there is, are the ones that are cursed. Right? That That's what this is implying. You also need a, bo uh, a bomb friend. Although, they probably sealed it after the fact. Okay. Alice of Shadow Tower. How could there be such a huge tower underground? And why was it built? And why are there so many rooms? I love a good mystery. This might be too mis too many mysteries. Uh, let me step away for a minute. I need to check to see if the oven's ready. Okay, okay. Probably uh, going for like 35 minutes right now. Alright. So, I think we want... Do we want to start with the top floor? Mario, look at that! Molly, what are you doing? You're being weird. It's totally huge. What is it? You think? What is it, you think? Uh, we don't... There's an indentation here. Looks like you could put something in here. Weird shape, though. You mean a star? Are you saying a star is a weird shape, Goombella? Molly, what are you doing? You're being weird. My dog's being weird. Yeah, you are. Now you're being weird. Wait. What do you mean I can't open that door? Why'd you drop your bomb? Why did you do that? Yeah? Yeah? Ah! <laughs> get through here. Is there any room I can get to? Let's see. No. We need... We need the star stone. Let me check the top floor again. Is this something I have to leave and come back? Oh, I remember. I remember. Okay. I know what I need to do. We need to leave. go to the right. Go all the way to the right. Again, there's nothing I can do over here. 
I forgot that I can't actually do that yet. Sub level three. We're inside the Palace of Shadow. This seems to be a corridor. I'm observant, huh? Listen, Mario. I know I've said this before, but don't forget you're not in this alone. You should rely on your partner's abilities if you ever get stuck or, on, or something. I did save. Mm -hmm. Okay, what do we got? It's a dark wizard. It's a part machine, part organic, centuries old thing. HP 10, attack is 5, defense is 0, uh, defense is 2. It uses magic to attack to alter your condition, so stay on your own. If there's only one left, it will multiply itself to confuse you, to confuse you. I know they look totally goofy, but they're actually pretty tough enemies. Yeah, I can't one-hit KO them. Yep, and he's gonna... Multiply! Can I use... Oops. Power shell. Yeah, we would have been on that for a little while. Been a while since I used Coops, hasn't it? Let's see. Goombella, you got anything to say? This is another corridor. I wonder how long these things go on. I'm sure we'll all need your. I'm, I'm sure we'll all. We'll need all of your special skills and those of your partners. Don't forget to use your strongest muscle, too. Your noggin. Hehe. <laughs> uh -huh. I should have jumped, but it doesn't matter. I can't deal damage. Oh, wait. I. I can? Well, uh, let's use Earth Tremor. Save the FP. Or save the SP, I'm sorry. And then we'll go with... Miss Mouse, who get the kill. There we go. Got one. This mouse. We're inside the Palace of Shadow. This is another corridor. Big surprise. Take it from me. If you ever feel lost, the best thing to do is take a good hard look at everything around you. Hmm. I'm implying that there's some sort of trickery going on? No, no, no. I, I, I don't think I need it. I already have two on me. inside the Palace of Shadow. There doesn't seem to be any big puzzles here. The deeper into this place we go, the more I feel an icky, oppressive aura coming from its depths. Yeah. Yeah, just the one? Okay. Damn, 14 damage right there. Okay. 
So what I can do is a normal jump, the one in the back. Rally wink. And then we'll get rid of the last one. So fine. I don't need the Volt Shroom. I got Zap Tap equipped. Who are you? No one's disturbed me here in eons. Who dares defile this sacred place? Hey, isn't that Hooktail? We totally beat her before. What's she, what's she doing back? What? You destroyed my pre precious younger sister. I wondered why she hadn't written recently. How would the letter get here? Quake in fear, mortals, for I am Gloomtail. I will avenge my sister by taking your lives and then gnawing on your bones. Basically a hooktail fight rematch. Basically. <laughs> my first my first flesh meet in ages. Allow me to take my time and toy with you a while. Alright. First, time to tap. Alright. That's Gloomtail. I think he's Hooktail's brother. Okay, so Gloomtail is a guy. I was never sure. I, or I could never remember. I see the family resemblance. H Max HP 80. Attack is 8. Defense is 2. He'll bite or stomp you. And he may also breathe poison out on you. Great. As HP gets low, he may throw in some other attacks as well. Wouldn't surprise me. Especially watch out for his Mega Breath move. Because the word is... Because the word is, it's gnarly. He also stores power to, for some attacks. So use Vivian to hide to avoid those. Let's first see if I can soft stomp him. Oh wait, I meant to... Okay, we can lower the defense. That's good. Poisoned. I'm already about to die. I'm already about to die. Okay. Hmm. Something tells me I messed up. We're gonna test something. I see a game over in my sights. Sleepy Stomp. Okay. Gloomtail cannot be put to sleep as far as I'm aware. Or Gloomtail just has some resistance. Uh, you know what? Okay. Soft Stomp doesn't... No, Soft Stomp works. I... No, we don't. Sweet Feast. Maybe we didn't need Sweet Feast, but... I have a feeling I'm not going to make it past this fight, past this turn. There, I'm cured of poison. Okay. And, okay, I'm still cured of poison. Thank you, Boo. Thank you. That is nice. Okay. Let's see. Let his defense is lowered a bit. Let's go Vivian. Because maybe I could burn. Can I shrink soft? No, I can't, but I can lower defense. Well, 
You could be burned. That's something. <laughs> you are tough meat, my little tasting morsels. But how will you fire against this? So you're cured of your lower defense. What? Let's get... Power lift. Okay, not as big of attack power, but we got our defense up. Should only take four damage from him. All right. For now, let's just use our normal ground attack. Okay, that's something. And I'm dead. So, Poison Breath does not affect... Oh, wait, I didn't... My defense boost didn't affect it. Okay. Something tells me I'm gonna have to uh, try again from the save. Okay. Defense drop is not guaranteed. That sucks. Bingo! And this is actually needed. This is actually a good bingo. Because I needed that star power back. Ugh. You are not... You are not the easy prey you appear to be. I would never be able to show my face again if I was bested by you, Lopes. So I will show you the true extent of my power. Hmm... Attack has gone up. Soft stomp. The defense did not go down. I could get the win. I could get the win right now. Thanks to the Shine Sprite bingo. If it wasn't for that, I would got a game over, probably. Supernova. One more. There we go. No, is it true? Can I expire? Bloomtail is done. I'm gonna be honest, I probably would have died if I didn't get that bingo. But I did lose my life shroom, so that sucks. This is Gloomtail's, Gloomtail's room. I wonder if he was here for all of 1,000 years. Dragons do live a long time, I heard, but dang. We get the Star Stone, and back over there. There's a hidden room. Let's see. Gradual syrup. 
shooting star. Okay, if I'm gonna use that, I might as well get rid of my Thunder Rage. Actually, no, I'm gonna get rid of the Earthquake. Mystery? No. We don't need a seahorse. Is there anything else? Doesn't seem to be. Okay. We can leave. Yeah, I'm not sure if I would have made it. I probably would have had to reset. Made it back. Okay, so thinking of how much there is left, I know I won't be able to finish the game. Not today. So I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I think this is an okay spot to stop. Beating Gloomtail, that's not a bad spot. So next time we got the room over there and then... We continue heading to the final boss. And then afterwards, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out from there. But yeah, thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at scottpot 64 Stream Archives. Next week, next Monday, we'll beat the game. At the very least. And then we'll see if a post-game has anything new. Anyway, have a good day. Later. <laughs>